Hi, hello everyone. Peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Um, one of you sent me just a message by the way in Skype, and he said to me, a Muslim spoke to him about the call of what's called Isra Raj in the night journey of Muhammad to the seven. Uh, if there is a Muslim would like to call us this journey, please, fellow Skype is open. The Abdul, he said he want to, he, he called himself, yes, yes. And there's a guy, his name is named Adam. Uh, is a, let us see. Sun is bad. Still is bad. Hmm. What's happening? Why it's bad? Hold. Oh. Sense. Um, uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, is the sound better now? Is the sound better? Hello? Is the sound better? No? Yes, no? What's happening? <clears throat> I, I don't think it's from my side. I think it's uh, it says Google. Because the speed of my internet, I just tested it. It's very good. And there's no way it's the computer, you know. Um, anyway, who Muslim want to call me and tell us whatever he would he like to ask us about his and Mahad? Feel free. Who's the Muslim want to ask Where is the guy who was uh, keep saying, uh, let me call you, let me call you? I don't know what to do. Maybe I should not do broadcast today. I'm not sure. I don't know what to do. See, my uh, my net speed for sure is very good. So it can't be my internet. I guess it is. <clears throat> Google, YouTube, there is something wrong with their uh, server. Let me do a speed test again and see how bad it is. Okay, restart. It's fine now. I'm not close to the mic. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Better now. I don't know really what's happening. Let me read some Quran, brother, and that will fix the story. Okay. Because based on my experience, if you have any problem, you read Quran, the problem fixed. What is the guy who want to kill me? Call me, keep saying, oh, call me, call me. Uh, let me call him. <laughs> Hello? 
Hello? Are you there? I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> Did God glorify God? Well, this is a good question. You see, guy, this guy, this guy, he is saying a very important question. He is an Abdul. Let me show you why I say Muslims, they have half a brain. I'm not insulting anyone. If you are against God to glorify God, as you said, we for us, we believe the Trinity. So we believe the Father will glorify the Son and the Son glorify the Father. But you in the Quran, how your God glorify God? So he say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. <laughs> as long you are against God, the glorifying God, for us it's not a problem because we believe in the Trinity. For you, Allah glorifying who? Are you there, Abdul? You see, I'm using your uh, I'm, I'm using your logic. This is your logic. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Allah is saying in the name of Allah and the most gracious, most merciful. And then he say, praise be to Allah. Are you there, Abdul? Hello. 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 How are you, my friend? I'm good. As Wa alaykum as -salam. So what you want to call me? What do you want to say? Did you hear what we were saying? There's a guy who was no, no. speaking about... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. The miracle of Al Isra and Al Mi'raj. What do you say? Is it a true yes. miracle? Is that Subhan a miracle? Subhan Allah, the Asr of Abdi Layl from the Masjid Al Haram. All right. Masjid Al Aqsa, the Barakna Hulu. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, that that, that was a very miracle. It was a miracle event. Yes, he went to the seven heavens there. He spoke to Moses. G and, okay, you know what? In the front, of, in the front of everybody. If you show me where in the Quran it says that Allah He took him to the seven heavens, I'm going to shave my beard. I'm going to to, to apologize from you. And you are my hero. No, not in the Quran. No, not in the Quran. Not in the Quran. So why you are saying Allah He took him to heaven? <laughs> yeah, the hadith in it. So why? So okay. So in the hadith it says that, but the Quran never say that. So why Allah yes. did not say? Right. He, why Allah did not say I took him to heaven? But in the story, the story is different from the Quran. Yes. Why is different? Why is different? The Quran, the Quran does not mention oh. heaven at all. Hadith is the complementary of the Quran. My friend, my friend, hold on, hold on. If yes. if this is a very important thing to mention, if Allah took him to heaven, why he don't mention that I took you to heaven? What what? I can't, the... ask, I can't ask. I can't. I can't ask questions to say why did you not put this there? Why do you put this? Hadith is a complimentary. I'm not. Al so I'm not asking you to ask questions. I'm asking you to answer me. If this is no, what Allah, no, no, if Allah, he did that, this is more important than taking him to Jerusalem because I can go to Jerusalem now. Is that a big deal? Yes. Okay. The miracle then, if there is a miracle, it should be about taking him to heaven. Do you agree? That is miracle, yes. Okay. What is the miracle in the Quran? It's not in the Quran. So, uh, so there's no miracle then because if, if there's yes. a miracle happen, Allah should mention the miracle, not something silly. If I go to Jerusalem right now, yesterday I was in Texas. What a big deal. Okay. Is that a miracle? No. Anyone can go there. Is that is it a miracle to go uh, uh, to Jerusalem? No. So where is the miracle? So you Muslims, you speak about a okay. miracle. Obviously, it's a fabricated uh, a story. There's no, no it's not fabricated that... because no, no, no. You know, it's, you know, it's not fair. Oh, okay, my friend. Who, who is the witness? Who is the witness for Muhammad going to heaven? If there's a witness. Who's the witness for five hundred? Who's the witness for five hundred people coming from the grave walking like zombies? The Quran says that. Are you saying the Quran is lying? No, no, no. Okay, oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will go with you. 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 Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus. He was not in the time of Jesus. Yet he says, Jesus, here he resurrect people from the grave. What is the proof that Muhammad is saying the truth? I will go with you. You see, I'm going with you. Muhammad came 600 years. Hold on, hold on. You see, I'm using your logic, my friend, my friend, my friend. Don't jump your logic. This is your logic. Muhammad was not there 600 years after he said to you something you believe it why you are being hypocrite Okay, let's read the Bible what it says my let's friend don't change the topic don't change the topic I'm not don't change the, No, I'm they not are changing the topic how you accept Muhammad to witness to Jesus that he resurrected people from the grave But he was not there. How, how do you accept that explain to me first and then you go, you go to the verse in the Bible Okay, it doesn't say it's what he's talking about 500 people come walk my friend it doesn't matter it says in the Quran he's he can resurrect anyone he wants doesn't matter if they are 500 or 500,000 
It can be 500 million. The Quran says, anyone Jesus can resurrect him from the grave. Jesus said to them, I resurrect to you from the grave that did one, which means it doesn't matter how many. It doesn't matter who. He can do that. Now I'm asking you, why you believe Muhammad saying that he, Jesus, can do that, but you don't believe the Bible saying that Jesus did that? The Bible doesn't say Jesus did that. The Bible didn't say Jesus did that? No. Well, no, Jesus, no, the, if, what, if I show you a verse from the Bible that says Jesus is erecting a guy, his name is Lazarus from no. the grave, what you would do? I talk about Lazarus. <laughs> my friend, my friend, my friend, listen. I'm not talking about Lazarus. Listen, listen, I'm listen, listen, listen. So are you are you saying that you're a prophet? He did lie when he said Jesus to resurrect people from the grave. Do you know what I'm talking about? And I know what you are talking about, and you are trying to avoid the question. Did did Jesus did Jesus in the did Jesus in the Quran resurrect people from the grave? And there is witnesses, yes or no? For thirty seconds, let me see for thirty seconds again. Mm. Okay, what I'm talking about is when Jesus when Jesus in your Bible resurrected five hundred people walk up from the grave. Jesus never resurrected them; they walk up. On the accord of not Jesus, so because of his power, Wait. because of his power, when the uh, when the Messiah he is rejected power, from the grave, power, he is rejected no with power. him. Abdul, Abdul, don't explain to me my Bible to me. Yeah, no you do not know yeah, my no Bible. Power. Let me ask you. Let, let me ask you now. Are you yeah, saying? No are you saying? Are you saying that Jesus cannot resurrect five hundred people? Yes or no? But you never in the Bible. Why are you lying on the scripture? Well, show me. Wait, show me by the way, show me the five hundred. Where's the five hundred? I, I saw a movie. It's called the three hundred. Is that the one you are talking about? Yes, let's see. Let me read this. Like zombies, they're like zombies. Well, the zombie is your prophet because your prophet he met with, with Musa, he went with Abraham, he met with Adam when he went in his journey. They, this is the zombie. How they are dead, but yet they are there. Did Allah is the uh, Listen, listen, you see, I will go with you, your logic. Let's show you how stupid your logic. When uh, when you're a prophet, he went to the 7 11 heaven and he said he, he saw Moses and he saw Abraham and he saw uh, all the prophets, including uh, uh, Elijah, whatever he claimed. So those are zombie or those are real? Why you hang up? Hello? Did you hang up? Are you there? Hello. Zombie, it's your prophet who saw zombie. According to Islam, Musa's Musa's he's still dead. Hey Abdul, do you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. You're a prophet, he saw Musa's in the heaven. No, was I, 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 was, I, I, was I, Musa's a zombie there I, or he was resurrected for real? You're digressing. I'm asking you. Was, no, was, no, was, was he was he was he was he answer was he you are the one who opened the topic don't run away from it when you open a topic let us finish it when muhammad when muhammad he saw moses in the heaven was he meeting with zombies or this is a re-resurrection is moses now in the grave according to islam or he is he is alive in heaven why you change the subject i'm not you are the one who mentioned zombie Okay, listen, let's carry on with the Bible first. We are not changing the topic. Answer, you are, I'm getting you busted. I'm spanking you. This is why you don't want to answer. We are talking about the same topic. Don't worry. I have all the time for you. We'll spend the whole day talking. So answer me. When all, when Muhammad, he saw Musa and Abraham and Adam and Noah and, and, and even Isa, he saw them in the heaven. Did he see real people or those they were zombie? And ask that question again. <laughs> When you're a prophet, he went to the seven heaven. He saw in his way Moses, Adam, Abraham. You're breaking up, you're breaking up, you're breaking up. Guys, am I, do you hear me, guys? Am I heard? Is my voice coming to you? Okay, can I first can I say my comment first before you say yours? Do you hear me? Okay, behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two my, from top to bottom. My friend, my friend, my friend, you see, you see, you see, you're, you're scared, you're scared, you're scared, you're you scared. You are the one who is scared, you are a kid, you are a kid, you are a kid, you are, you are a zombie, you are a follower of a zombie. How you're a prophet, he say he met Musa when Musa is dead, never been resurrected. How you're a prophet, he saw Abraham when Abraham is dead, never resurrected. Your prophet, he lied, he said, he is the first to be resurrected in the day of judgment. How he lie and he say he saw Abraham and Moses and Isa and, and all the prophets. He saw them in his journey. 
it is a lie or it is a true so they are zombie because Islam confirmed that nobody resurrected and to go to heaven there's only one person in heaven from the earth now only one person that is Isa so how Muhammad he met with Moses and Adam and Abraham in heaven it's a miracle. What a miracle! Your prophet, this is a contradiction. Your prophet, he said he will be the first to be resurrected. Don't you know that? Listen, Wallahi, you're so scared to read Bible. Are you? Do you? Do you deny what your prophet say that he is the first to be resurrected? Zombie is coming out of the grave. See, here we go. The, okay. the zombie is okay. you. The zombie is you. Muhammad is the zombie. Your prophet, okay. he slept inside the grave with the dead women. He is a zombie. Is that the true? Okay. He says yeah, the earth shook, the rock yes, shook. Yes, yes or no? Uh, yes or no? Did your prophet escaped. sleep with the women in the in in the grave? Yes or no? Okay, the earth was shook, the rocks were split, the tombs were open, <laughs> many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Whoa, zombies! I mean, come out. This is zombie. This is a miracle. This is the power of God. Just you don't want to answer. Just get lost. This is the verse is proving the power of Jesus. Just because he's a reject, is a, is a, resurrected from the grave. People coming out with him, and those are the saints, not everybody. You don't want to answer because you are a coward. Call me back and be a brave man and answer. How you are a prophet, he saw the zombie in his heaven when they are dead. Isn't it your prophet? He said he is the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment, which means Abraham and Adam and Moses and all those people, they are not resurrected yet. How dare you to lie to us, Muhammad? How that can be? Obviously, Muhammad is a scam because this is a contradiction for his teaching. Either you are the first to be resurrected or you are not the first to be resurrected. If Moses and Adam and Noah already they are in heaven, it's mean Muhammad. Are you going to answer or not? Why did you end the call? Abdul, are you going to answer or not? Did you end the call? Why you are going to answer or not? Are you going to answer or not? I have no time for kids. Oh, you can't answer my question. I answered you, Abdul. I answered you. Why we need, why we need to repeat again? Those are people because of the power of Jesus, because he is God. All the saints came out with him. It's not about 500, it's about anyone he wants to resurrect. He can resurrect, and the Quran confirmed that. Thank you very much. We see this now. Answer I am saying that to you. Didn't you ask me? Didn't you ask me? You read the verse for me. I answered you. Didn't you ask me for the answer? I gave you the answer. You don't you don't like it, bite your teeth. If you don't like it, bite bite your lips. Now answer me. How Muhammad he says he is the first one to be resurrected, but yet we find Musa and Adam and Abraham waiting for me for him in the heaven. Okay, that, that could be a, uh, an imagery. It could be I was imaginary guys. Did he say imaginary? This guy he is saying Muhammad is the liar. A no, second no. ago, a second ago, you said that the miracle is true. He went to heaven. Now you are saying imaginary. Guys. This guy, did, did you hear it? This is recorded. This will be in YouTube. People, I, I, I advise everybody to copy this part. So Muhammad was yes. imagining that he went to heaven, and it oh, was that. a lie. Did he was did he was a tea? Did he was just said. You said that. You said that. You said he's no, imagining. You, me, you said he was imagining. You said. Did you say he was imagining? No, yes never. or no? Did no, you say never. that? No, I never. No, I never. You cut me off. Let me speak. No, you said that. You said he was imagining. Everybody no, heard you. you. Everybody heard you. Okay, they all heard me. Yes, but you cut me off half a thing when I speak. <laughs> okay, so it starts from where you you, you stop. He was imagining. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Basically, you asked me if Muhammad seen Jesus, Mary. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. Jesus. Uh, what was it called? Musa. And uh, was it called Ibrahim? Was that your question? He saw them in heaven. Are they there yes, for real? Is. Are they there for real, or they are not resurrected yet? And um, was that hadith? Or was that the Quran? Can you scroll up for one second? I will show you what it is. You you, you claim that you have knowledge. You want to teach me from the Bible, but yet you do not know what your prophet said. How can that? How can that happen? No, you I never. Know, you never heard. Are you saying to me you never heard that your prophet he ah, spoke? Did, did. He saw Moses and he saw Adam and he saw uh, uh, Abraham. He saw them in heaven. Are you saying that? Abdul, I'm asking you a direct question. Don't tell me. Don't repeat yourself. You're, did, are you saying to me? Are you saying to me? You're a prophet. He did not. You never heard that your prophet. He uh, met with Abraham and Adam and Mo and Moses and Isa in heaven. He did. Never heard that before. I, I did. You did or you did not? I did not hear you. Say, say again. I did. You did. So why you are shy? I mean, why you okay, say I did? Okay, so you did. So now, when your prophet he saw them in heaven, they were alive for real, or it was imaginary, as you said. Can you pull up the reference so we can be sure? My friend, this is the question. As long as you know, 
you know he saw them there's no need for reference anymore and we will show the reference no problem but i want you to show to give me the answer when he saw them okay. there was it for real it was or it was imaginary as you said two minutes ago it was real it was real okay mm. guys did he say it was real i want you i want you to remember that if we go in the Quran, and if we go in the hadith we will find muhammad he's saying that he was the first one to be resurrected there's nobody resurrected yet oh that was and uh, that was a miracle what a miracle abdul you just said to me that it was real so nobody yes, is resurrected really. because if adam is dead if noah is dead if moses is dead if all of those names are dead abraham is dead how they are in heaven when you're a prophet he confirmed that he would be the first one to be resurrected the, the hadith in the front of you from sahih al-bukhari read with you okay let me uh, where, where is, it? is it on the screen it's in the screen yes no it's not on the skype screen is it on youtube screen or the screen? Oh, hold on let me show you, be sure that it is people they can see it here we go all right now it's in the screen sorry go ahead one second. This is Sahih al Bukhari. This is Sahih al Bukhari. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih Muslim. I can show you the same tons of things. All of them, they are confirming one thing that Muhammad is the first one to be resurrected. Yeah, I can see. Hmm. How he yes, makes such a lie. If Abraham and Moses and all the prophets, he saw them already in heaven, how he say. That he will be the first to be. He says that he says that he will be raised. He will be the first resurrected on the day of judgment. Yes. 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 Okay, let's read that. Bring up that. What's it called? Uh, Isra al Miraj. It is in, in the front hadith. of you. It's in the front of you. This is about. This is about. This is about here the story about what you are talking about. That your yes. prophet, your prophet, he said, in the day, in the day, which is the day of bath. Hmm? What did he say? What did he say? It's in the front of you. I'm showing you the, the reference. What's wrong with you? No, one second, because. Let me show you. You want show show you a short hadith? Okay, I will show you a short hadith. Here we go. Are you sharing it on the screen Skype or on YouTube? No, in YouTube. Oh, that's why I was checking the Skype. It was a oh, okay. I, I'm not going to share. I cannot share both in the same time. Okay. Hmm. Okay. The people will do. Is, is that Abu Huraira? Doesn't matter who. This is your prophet saying. Who is Abu Huraira? The guy, the father what of the cats? It? The father of the cats? So, uh, he says I'll be the first. Who care? Who care? Who care? Who is he? This is Sahih Bukhari. Your prophet is talking, and this is a Sahih Hadith. Why are you so uh, aggressive every time? You my speak? friend, because you are wasting my time. Does it say that or not? No, oh, you're wasting my time. You're Am I lying, or this is what it says? This is in the front of you. This is the story. This is the Hadith. This is the reference, and it is Sahih. So, what we will do now? He says that he'll be the first person to be resurrected. Yes, it says there, I will be the first person. Person, I'm just quoting exactly. I will be yes, the I first. I will be the first person to be resurrected. Yes. Okay. What's wrong with that? Okay. Hold on. If he is the first person to be resurrected, how he will see Musa holding no. the throne? He will be the first person resurrected on the day of Yom Al Qiyamah. Yes. So, don't so try, how he don't see to... Abdul? How he will be the first person to be resurrected, and already Musa is, is there. How uh, how he will be the first to be resurrected and Musa already there? Musa is already there. Yes, it says in the same hadith in the front of your eyes. I will be the first person to be resurrected. <laughs> I mean, this guy is a drunk. Obviously, he is the first one to be resurrected, but he will saw Musa before him holding what the throne. No. Okay, that hadith basically saying after I was equal, he will be the first person resurrected and is not including Moses. Thank you very much, guys. Did he say that this is not including Moses? So what yes, Moses is? So how come he saw Moses there already? If he is the first yeah. one to be resurrected, are you saying that's a contradiction? Abdul, it's obvious. It's Moses is already holding the throne. He will wake up from the grave. Allah will resurrect him, and he will be the first one to be resurrected. And you are the one who said to me a second ago, Moses is not included. Thank you very much. So that is confirmed. So, so how he how he will see Moses holding the throne there if he is the first one to be resurrected? 
are you conf- are you confusing? This is what I'm trying to say to you. Moses is holding the throne, and Mo- and Muhammad will be resurrected, and you will see Moses. Okay, so is Moses is Moses resurrected before Muhammad? And according to this hadith, that's what that's what I see right now. But then, how he say I will be the first to be resurrected? If Moses already resurrected okay, before him, how he is the first to be resurrected? Okay, the hadith is saying I will be the first resu- person to be resurrected. Right, is, see it, Moses. Abdul, Abdul. If I say I am the first man to be resurrected, it means there's nobody else to be resurrected before me. As simple as that. I am the first. Do you know what first mean? Do you know what first mean? So how he is the first to be resurrected, yet Moses is there. Okay, let's read from the top. He says the people will fall unconscious on the day of the resurrection. Then suddenly I will see Moses holding one of the pillars of the throne. So basically Moses is already there before Muhammad. Mm. So you understand that? So okay. okay, I understand that. Thank you very much. I, this is what I'm saying. You're a prophet when you claim that your prophet he went to the seven eleven heaven. He saw Abraham. He saw Isa. He saw uh, Moses. He saw Ishmael. He saw all the group, all, all 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 the gang. So now, when he went there in seeing the Muslim gangs in the heaven of Muhammad, how they are there if he is the first one to be resurrected? This is what we are talking about. Okay. And. Um... So basically, I'm trying to say to you, if you read the hadith in context, you say Moses will be there before Muhammad in the hadith. I know. Thank you very much. Why we are repeating ourselves? So, you said that already. This is the question. So, Listen carefully, Abdul. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Relax. Relax. Breathe. Breathe. Okay. Moses is already. Like Moses okay. is already there. Abraham is mm-hmm. already there. Isa no, is already. Abraham, no, is not though. Is not is, there. Does he say that? He doesn't say that in the hadith. You no, know, I'm asking you. I, I, doesn't matter. This hadith or not? Is Abraham there or not? What in I'm asking you, is Abraham in heaven? Yes or no? What? What? what, what are you confusing? Are you talking about Israel or Are you talking about the day Abdul? It doesn't matter. Is it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter because if it's an Isra, if he is in Israel Mi'raj, where Muhammad he saw them, he saw them in heaven. So they must be in heaven. So is yeah, Abraham great. is Abraham in heaven? Yes or no? Say it again. Let me say again. Is Abraham okay. now in heaven? Yes or no? Not in body, not in body, but in spirit. His spirit. So Muhammad did not see his body. He saw his spirit. And uh, maybe can you pull up that was a reference? Abdul, what do you mean maybe? Let's be fair. Let's be, let's, let's be fair. Let's hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Listen carefully. Muhammad, okay. he, this guy, he's saying the prophet mm-hmm. he saw Abraham in his spirit. How you can see the spirit of Abraham? Okay, let's pull up the uh, hadith. Well, we don't try to uh, trick people. Let's pull up the hadith where he says. Oh, oh, before Moses, we go to Moses. any hadith, my friend, before we go to any hadith, explain to me what do you mean when you said that he saw him maybe in a spirit? Yeah, basically, you're saying uh, in body, obviously, when you die, your body dies, but your soul lives on. Mm, okay, so okay, so that's what I'm trying to say to you. Maybe the hadith is talking about when he spoke to uh, who's it called? Mm. Isa and uh, was called Musa. He probably saw them in uh, in another form other than the body. So they are dead, oh, or they are resurrected. There are they dead? Because if I am in heaven, I am resurrected. Okay, listen. When you die, you don't die. You don't. My you, friend, you, no. It doesn't matter if I die or not. I am. I am dead. Yes. I am dead. Yeah. And now I am in heaven. Is that resurrection or not? Say again. If I am dead, should I go yeah. to heaven directly, or I need to wait for the day of resurrection, my friend? Uh, you have to wait for and uh, resurrection. Thank you very much. So and that yeah. will it's be different. It's different. It's different for the prophet. My friend, what do you mean? Wait, so, okay, show me where it says. Show me where it says that the prophet. Show me. Show me where it says. Me where it says, says to, show me where it says that the prophet of God. Hold on. Show me where it says that the prophet of God. They go to heaven directly. Well, you're trying to obviously they do. Hundred percent they're gonna go to uh, uh, heaven directly. Where it says that? What is where it says what it says that? What is it where it says that? If you're a prophet, you said listen, listen, are you saying to me your prophet is not a prophet? I don't see why you because you just said prophets of God will go to heaven directly. You're a prophet, he said, I will be the first to be resurrected, which means until now he is not resurrected. So you just admitted that the prophet of God only they can go to heaven. Hold on, hold on, guys. Do you see do you see how stupid what he said? Did you notice what he said? Hold on, let me let me explain. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You said, you said. You said mm-hmm. prophets of God already they go to heaven. You said only new normal people they stay until day of resurrection. Thank you very oh, much. Only dies, normal people like, they stay until. Oh, oh, shut up! Let me explain what you oh, said. Hold, you blah, 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 blah. Thank you very much for calling me. You are a price. I should pay you. I should pay you. Honestly, you are like Muhammad Hijab. Listen, 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 listen. listen. Only, only normal people they will stay in earth. Only normal people they will stay in earth. But the prophet of God they will go to heaven directly. Everybody heard you saying that. 
and your yeah, prophet said he is the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment you so saw you admitted that muhammad is just a normal man he's not a prophet muhammad is a prophet of allah so how you, you you contradict yourself you are the one who said to me normal people they will not go to heaven why, but why you, of God. God. you said that it's recorded the people they can play it back play back play back no, we, I, I, i'm not going to play it back now you play it back can you play it back for me Okay, basically, well, I'm trying to can say. Can you play it back for me? Go back in the video, please. I, I, we can hear the, the sound from your side. Go ahead. Go okay. back to three minutes in the in YouTube, three minutes or four minutes, and play it back. We are listening. Sorry, you can play it back. You, you cut me off while I was. Okay, let, 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 me, let me play it back, please. Uh, I will hang up on you, and you call me back when I finish playing. Okay, I will go back. Let us see if we can reach the moment when these guys start talking. Yes, of course. Okay. Okay. Um, the way in the sky. Uh, uh, Sorry, guys. I'm just searching for the uh, his voice when he and calls the guy. His name. His name. Let us see. I'm searching for his voice in the recording. Look like you too. Uh, there is a... You see, we are still in the point where my Who voice is bad. When I call me and tell him they have half a brain. It could be 500 or 500,000. It can be 500 million. Yes or no? He never in the Bible. Why lying? Scripture is alive in heaven. Why he change the subject? I'm not. You are the one who mentioned zombie. Okay, listen. You're scared. You're scared. You are the one who is. Scared. I'm moving in the recording. Let us see. This is the verse is approving the teeth. If you don't like it, bite your leg, or it was imaginary, as you said. Here we go. Listen. Pull up the reference so we can be full. My friend, this is the question. As long as you know, you know he saw them. There's no need for reference anymore. And we will show the reference, no problem. But I want you to show to uh, give me the answer. When he saw them there, was it for real? It was or it was imaginary, as you said two minutes ago. It was real. It was real. Okay. So you guys, now he said it's real. Later, he will say it's imaginary. The same person, the same person who called me, first in the beginning, he said it's real. Then he said, he, he swallowed his tongue and he said it's imaginary. Listen carefully. Mm -hmm. Guys, did he say it was real? I want you, I want you to remember that. If we go in the Quran, if we go in the hadith, we will find Muhammad and he's saying that he was the first one to be resurrected. There is nobody resurrected yet. Oh, that was the um... That was a miracle. What the miracle, Abdul? You just said to me that it was real. So nobody is resurrected because one call, one dead. call. If Noah is dead, if Moses is dead, if all of those names are dead, Abraham is dead, how they are in heaven when your prophet he confirmed that he would be the first one to be resurrected. The, the hadith in the front of you from Sahir Bukhari, read with you. Okay, let me. Uh, where is it? Is it on the screen? It's in the screen, yes. No, it's not on the Skype screen. It's on YouTube screen. Or the screen. Oh, hold on. Let me show you. Be sure that it is people. They can see it. Here we go. All right. Now it's in the screen. Sorry. Go ahead. One second. Hmm. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Muslim. I can show you the same tons of things. All of them. They are confirming one thing: that Muhammad is the first one to be resurrected. Yeah, look, I see. Hmm. How he yes, was make such a lie if Abraham and Moses and all the prophets he saw them already in heaven? How he say that he will be the first to be? He says that he, says that he will be raised, he will be the first resurrected on the day of judgment. Yes, 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 People will not be resurrected, my friend. This month or next month is going to be in the day of judgment. Are you a fool or what? No, you're a fool. Are you saying to me, you Muslims believe that there's people resurrected before the judgment day? Okay, let's read. Uh, bring up that. What's it called? Uh, Israel, my it is in the front of you. It's in the front of you. This is about. This is about. This is about here the story about what you are talking about. That your right. prophet, your prophet, he said, in the day, in the day, which is the day of bath. Hmm? What is it? What is it? It's in the front of you. I'm showing you the reference. What's wrong with you? No, one second, because let me show you. Do you want to show you a short hadith? Okay, I will show you a short hadith. Here we go. 
Are you sharing on the screen Skype or on YouTube? No, in YouTube. Oh, that's why I was checking the Skype. Okay, now I want you to focus on this part. Here we go. We arrive to the royalty time. Here, we will get him busted. He said he did not say that. Listen carefully what he was saying. Oh, okay. I, I'm not going to share. I cannot share both in the same time. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Is, is that Abu Harira? Doesn't matter who. This is your prophet saying. Who is Abu Harira? The guy, the father of the cats. The father of the cats. Yeah, he said I'll be the first. Who person care? Who care? Who care? Who is he? This is Sahih Bukhari. Your prophet is talking, and this is a Sahih Hadith. Why are you so uh, aggressive? Every time my friend, speak? because you are wasting my time. Does it say that or not? Oh, you're wasting my time. You're Am I lying, or this is what it says? This is in the front of you. This is the story. This is the Hadith. This is the reference, and it is Sahih. So, what we will do now? He says that he'll be the first person to be resurrected. Yes, it says there. I will be the first person. Person, I'm just quoting exactly. I will be yes, the first. I will be the first person to be resurrected. Yes. Okay. What's wrong with that? Okay. Hold on. If he is the first person to be resurrected, how he will see Musa as holding oh. the throne? He'll be the first person resurrected on the day of Qiyamah. Yes. So, so how he see Abdul? How he will be the first person to be resurrected? And already Musa is there. How I mean, how he will be the first to be resurrected and Musa already there? Musa is already there. Yes, it says in the same hadith in the front of your eyes. I will be the first person to be resurrected. <laughs> I mean, this guy is a drunk, obviously. He is the first one to be resurrected, but he will show Musa before him holding what? The throne. Okay, that hadith basically saying after I was equal, he will be the first person resurrected and is not including Moses. Thank you very much. Guys, did he say that? This is not including Moses. So what yes, Moses is, so how come he saw Moses there already if he is the first yeah. one to be resurrected? Are you saying that's a contradiction? Abdul, it's obvious. It's Moses is already holding the throne. He will wake up from the grave. Allah will resurrect him and he will be the first one to be resurrected. And you are the one who said to me a second ago, Moses is not included. Thank you very much. So that is confirmed. Uh -huh. So how he how he will see Moses holding the throne there if he is the first one to be resurrected? Are you are you confusing? This one I'm trying to say to you. Moses is holding the throne and Mu and Muhammad will be resurrected and you will see Moses. Okay, so is Moses is Muhammad resurrected before Muhammad? And according to this hadith, that's what, that's what I see right now. But then how he say I will be the first to be resurrected? If Moses already resurrected oh. before him, how he is the first to be resurrected? Okay, the hadith is saying I will be the first person to be resurrected. Right, we'll see it, Moses. Abdul, Abdul. If I say I am the first man to be resurrected, it means there's nobody else to be resurrected before me. As simple as that. I am the first. Do you know what first mean? Do you know what first oh, mean? He, so how he is the first to be resurrected? Yet Moses is there. Okay, the hadith. Let's read from the top. He says the people will fall unconscious on the day of the resurrection. Then suddenly I will see Moses holding one of the pillars of the throne. So basically, Moses is already there before Muhammad. So we understand that. So, okay, I understand that. Thank you very much. I, this is what I'm saying. You're a prophet. When you claim that your prophet, you went to the seven eleven heaven. He saw Abraham. He saw Isa. He saw uh, Musa. He saw Ishmael. He saw all the group, all, 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 all the gang. So now, when he went there, he seen the Muslim gangs in the heaven of Muhammad. How they are there if he is the first one to be resurrected? This is what we are talking about. Okay. Um. So basically, I'm trying to say to you, if you read the hadith in context, you say Moses would be there before Muhammad in the hadith. I know. Thank you very much. Why are you repeating ourselves? Oh. You said that already. Uh, this is the question. So Listen carefully, Abdul. Slow down. Slow down. Relax. Relax. Breathe. Breathe. Okay. Moses is already. Yeah. Moses is already there. Abraham is yeah. already there. He said no, no, is Abraham. Already, Abraham. No, is not. No, is not he, there. Did he say that? He didn't say that in the hadith. No, I'm asking you. I, I, doesn't matter. This hadith or not? Is Abraham there or not? Why? Yes, I'm asking you, is Abraham in heaven? Yes or no? What? Why, why, why are you confusing me? Are you talking about Israel? Are you talking about the day? Abdul, it doesn't matter. Is Abraham, it, doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter because if it's in Israel, if he is in Israel, Mi'raj, where Muhammad he saw them, he saw them in heaven. So they must be in heaven. So is yes, Abraham is Abraham in heaven? Yes or no? Say again. Let me say again. Is Abraham now in heaven? Yes or no? Not in body, not in body, but his spirit. His spirit. So Muhammad did not see his body. He saw his spirit. 
and maybe can you pull up that was a reference abdul what do you mean maybe let's be fair let's be, let's, let's be fair let's hold, be fair. hold on 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 guys listen carefully muhammad he, he, this guy he's saying the prophet he saw abraham in his spirit how you can see the spirit of abraham okay let's pull up the hadith but don't try to uh, to people let's pull up the hadith where he says oh, oh, before Moses we go to any hadith my friend before we go to any hadith explain to me what do you mean when you say it that he saw him maybe in the spirit yeah basically you're saying uh, in body obviously when you die your body dies but your soul lives on mm. okay so okay so that's what i'm trying to say to you maybe that deep is talking about when he spoke to uh what's it called mm. he said uh, what's it called musa he probably saw them in, uh, in another form other than the body so they are dead or, or they are resurrected there are they dead because if i am in heaven i am resurrected Hey, listen, when you die, you don't die. You don't, My friend, you know, it doesn't matter if I die or not. I, I am dead. I am dead. Yeah. And now I am in heaven. Is that resurrection or not? Okay. If I am dead, should I go yeah. to heaven directly or I need to wait for the day of resurrection, my friend? You have to wait for um, resurrection. Thank you very much. So, and that will be it's different. It's different. It's different for the prophet. My friend, what do you mean? Wait, so, okay, show me where it says. Show me where it says that the prophet. Yes, 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 yes. Show me. Show me where it says. Show me. Did he say it's different for the prophet's guy? Did you hear it? Did he just say it's different for the prophet? He said it is different for the prophet. So the prophet, they will not wait. They will be there. Where it says that the prophet of God. Hold on. Show me where it says that the prophet of God. They go to heaven directly. Well, you're trying to obviously they do 100 percent they're gonna go uh, uh heaven directly. Where is it hundred percent? Did he say hundred percent they will go to heaven directly? Did he say one hundred percent? Did we just hear it? This liar he said to me, this is why we went back. He said, I did not say that. He said, I did not say that. Where I said that. Not only you said they go to heaven directly, you said one hundred percent. When Abdul he say 100%, it's mean 100% a lie, and he will deny his lie after two seconds. Yeah. What is what is it? What it says that? What is it? Where it says that? If you're a prophet, you say, listen, listen. Are you saying to me your prophet is not a prophet? I don't see why you. Because you <laughs> my friend, I am the Christian prince, and your God and your prophet and all of you, Abdul, you don't even have one percent of my brain. If I let my toes in a chat room to debate you, my toes will win, for I am a Christian prince. You need a billion year to be sent to the refurbished shop. Maybe you will get a close to be able to debate my toes, not my nose. How are you, Abdul? Did you hear yourself, my friend? No, no, I just called back right now. And I watched that. Did you did you did you not hear it yourself? Did you did not hear it? So are you uh, you are lying? Swear by Allah you did not hear any praying it, praying it back. You played it, you played it, but I never I was not listening to it. I was doing something uh, else. Oh so why so why you ask me to play it back if you want to listen to it? Why would I listen to something that I already know what I said? I'm not I'm no, not you deny it because you deny it, you are a liar. You said you did not say that one hundred percent you deny that the prophet will go to heaven one hundred percent. No, he did, no, he did, no, he did. When someone speaks, you cut them off halfway to do the do sentence. So and do, then the, shout, do ah. the prophet will go to heaven right away. Did you say did you say did you say did you say, did you say tactics, I don't you're play a, games? You cannot play games with me. I got you your busted. Games. You play games. Shut you play. up, send your dad to, to, to call me. I'm not going to talk to kids no more. You ask me to play it, you're coward. And now you call me back. You said I did not listen to it, for you are a scam. If you will not listen to it, why you ask me to play it back? And how you can be not listening, but yet you are texting in the chat? You are a liar, like your prophet. You heard yourself saying it, and you say I was not listening. He is texting in the chat. He is in the YouTube with us, but yet he is not listening. Do you know why he's not listening? Because he don't want to listen. This is how they are. Thank you very much for those who send donation. May the Lord bless you. Who is Abdul? Want to be honest? Can we find the Abdul who dare to send?
his uh, defense to defend uh, his prophet? No, no, we cannot, we cannot block liars, my friend, because if we block the liars, then we cannot talk to Muslims. All of them, they lie. They are following a liar, so what you, what do you think? And here you notice right away how we got Muhammad busted. I'm not, I'm not getting this poor guy busted. This guy is just a guy, he have no idea. He's, he's trying to defend the foolish Muhammad, but Muhammad himself, he got himself busted. How Muhammad is the first one to be resurrected, but yet Moses is already there. The Abdul, he said to us, prophets of God, don't stay in the grave. They go directly. So Muhammad, he is lying. That's mean he is not a prophet because a prophet of God will not be waiting until the day of resurrection. <laughs> Do you see why Muslims don't dare to debate me, especially those who call themselves career builders? This is why they avoid debating me. For those who they are saying how we can help in donation, my friend, there is a site, it's called Patreon. The link is down in the info. You can click on it and you can do it there. Thank you very much. And thank you again for supporting us. Your support is needed. Who is next? Who is the Muslim next? He dare to tell us what's going on. So all what the Muslim they say about Muhammad went to seven out of in heaven, it is nothing but a lie. How Muhammad he went to heaven and then he's, he find Moses there. Hello? Hello? Do you hear me, my friend? Sometimes people they have a slow connection, so we have to have to be patient. Hello. Yes. Hello. You, I hear you. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Christian. You're welcome, my friend. Uh, I have a question. First of all, you said you are a Christian, right? Yes. What do you think of Muhammad? What? What do you think of Muhammad? False prophet. He's a false prophet. Why is a false prophet? Abused uh, God, you know. Okay, so what is your question, my friend? Um, how to debate a Muslim in a blasphemy country? How you defeat how you debate Muslims in what? Blasphemy country like Pakistan. I don't understand. I'm can you speak more clear in what country? In a uh, uh, country like Pakistan. Oh, well, I don't advise you to, de to debate them there because the second you get them busted, they will accuse you that you insulted the prophet and they will try to kill you. Leave that for me. Tell them there's a guy there in the internet. Please go and call him. All right? Uh, All right. Just, just, just for, for your answer, safety and your security. Thank you for answering. You're welcome. Uh, You're welcome, my friend. Thank, thank you. Take care. Yeah. You do not need to debate them. Send them to me especially in those savage countries where people they are slaughtered for saying two words i'm here for them we are here every day you see the muslims they look for somebody he have a blue eyes he have a blonde hair to debate him because simply he do not know islam and he don't speak arabic and then when they debate with him they say <laughs> let me teach you arabic my friend <laughs> let me teach you arabic <laughs> you are right you will see the coming videos. By the way, I have a video there for you in the in the in the Google Drive. I wish everybody to download it and share it everybody every day. This is the best comedy for the day. You will love you and your family when you watch it. Please download my video. It's in Google Drive there and share it everywhere you can. Let everybody laugh. I don't blame him to you as a voice changer, my friend. He's calling from Pakistan. Do we have any Abdul? He have the courage and the knowledge. This is a Christian prince that challenging you, your God, your prophet, and your angels. Have you ever heard of an angel? He bring a dish of shish kebab to his prophet, and the purpose is to fix his penis. That only happened in Islam. The video is in the info, my friend. Look at the info under the video, and the info of the video. 
it's it says watch this comedy and there's a link drivegoogle.com and then you click in it a video will open download it share it and give it to your friends and again thank you for those who they are helping us like I saw a person he sent the five the dollars by the way for me I appreciate all those who support us doesn't matter if it's one dollar or five or even the gentleman who gave uh, 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 this amount of money uh, the big amount thank you very much why I cannot defend the Bible I just I do not first need to defend the Bible because how how who am I to defend the Word of God my friend and you are the one who just defended the Bible you are the one who said when Jesus resurrected hundreds of people came from the grave you just to prove to us that Jesus is God and Abdul they said to me where where it says Jesus is God worship me you just you just admitted that same time your prophet is the first to be resurrected what about him calling Jesus so he can resurrect him to second why you want to wait is it Jesus in the Quran is the one who resurrect people from death all what we need to do we ask Muhammad we give him the cell phone of Jesus he called him hello I am the stupid Muhammad I am in the grave please can you help me Jesus Jesus will say to him pray for me worship me I believe in me and I will resurrect you hmm? How you can say the Bible is a lie if your Quran confirmed the Bible? Abdul, did you say did you say you said the Bible is a lie? Did you say that? Are you there? Hello? Hello. Okay. Did you say the Bible is a lie? Why is it still ringing? Did you say the Bible is a lie? I can't hear you. It's still ringing. The voice the phone is ringing. Uh, you you I'm asking you, did you say the Bible is a lie? Call me, call me back. Say inshallah and your internet will be fixed. Say inshallah, my friend. Say inshallah. Religion of inshallah. Everything in this religion is inshallah. This is why nothing happened. You fear me, you fear the truth. Abdul, how are you? Do you hear me now? Yeah. All right. Okay. You said that the Bible is a lie. Is that true? No. Okay. So how you're a prophet, he says that he confirmed what is between their hands from the book, which is the Bible. Your prophet was confirming the lie. Say it again. How your prophet he say, "Wallam majahum kitabun min indi la min indi la musaddiqan lima maaf." Lima baini, musaddiqan lima baini dehi. No, no, baini yadehi. This is different verse, Abdul. Different verse. Lima maahum. Okay, how he say that? You say you are the one who said you are the one who said that the Bible is a lie. Your prophet he says no. It is yeah. true, and I I approve it, which is with you, which is with you. How he approve what is the with Bible them? Be changed. So are you saying in the time of Muhammad, Muhammad? Ah, so in the time of Muhammad, the Bible was not changed. Okay, let's read that verse. Can you just give me the reference to that verse? What do you mean? Don't give me the verse. You do not know what verses I'm talking about. Chapter two, verse number eighty-nine. Hmm. <clears throat> Chapter two, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other verses we say the Torah and the people of the rabbis let used us, to change let, it. Let us focus with this one. We will go to that one. I promise you. the verse after as well so to put it in context my friend read 10 verses before 10 verses after take your time do you want me to give you 10 hours to read and come back no i just need uh, 20 seconds no problem go ahead And are you going to wait for long, my friend? 
Uh, it's past tense. It's past tense. It's talking about the time of Jesus. What Isa. past tense? Where is the past tense? Where is the past tense? Okay. Where is the past tense? You know what? If you show me the past tense, I'm going to do the monkey dance for you, and I will open my camera. Show me the past tense. Mahum, mahum. Mahum. Mahum, which, what is with them? With them? What is with them? What is with them? With them. Not, not, not. Jesus. What was with them? What, what is with them? I will say to you, I confirm you what is with you. It's mean now they have it, not what was with you. Okay, okay. He says, he says, he says, he says when I was called a book that Allah confirmed that which was was with them. Where, where it says the word was? Where is the word was? Show me the was. I, I, I love the word was. I, I love the word was. That translation, this is your Muslim translation in front of me. Show me the word was. I love was. Lima. Huh? Lima. Lima? Ma'ahum. Do you know what Lima mean? What is with them? Lima, Lima is not no, a past Lima tense. Lima is not a past tense. Are you, are you stupid or what? If it is a past tense, why in the translation here saying to what is with them? Do you see the word is? Do you know what is mean? Do you see the word? Do you, do you see is? Yes, is. It doesn't say is there or no. Reading a different translation. Read the Sahih International. My friend, what about we go and read the interpretation? Are you willing for that? And if I show you the interpretation, if I show you the interpretation saying that, are you willing to open your camera and do the monkey dance for us? Sahih International. It's, it's only Sahih International you like? Read yeah, Sahih International. I'm asking you, do you like only Sahih International? Yes, yes, yes. I find the authentic. Okay. Sahih Sahih Inter guys, Sahih International is the authentic one. All right. Now, as long, it, okay, let, let, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I oh, go, if, oh. if I if I go right now and I open Sahih International, do you accept all the translation of Sahih International or only this verse? M most of it. No, no. Don't tell me either. You, either Sahih International is good for you to be a Quran, or it is not good. Is it good for you? Well, why change subject? Let's read. The I'm verse. not changing top subject. I'm asking you which book you approve, so we can see a common ground between us. ولما جاءهم كتاب من عند الله مصدقا لما معهم. Yeah, لما معهم. It is what is between their hands. What is between their hands now? What what they have now? You are a liar. I want you to swear by Allah. Why say I'm a liar? I want. Okay, I want you to swear by Allah and Muhammad that it says there to what was with them, not what is with them. Swear. Wallahi, what I see in front of me, Sahih International, it says confirm. My friend, that I don't, I don't care about Sahih International. Confirm to me what it says in Arabic. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. So now it says to me, I swear by yeah, Allah and me. Muhammad that it says there that He confirming what is not it what is with them okay. now, what it was with them. Say, uh, confirm Lima, that, please. Lima in this context means was. Abdul, Wallahi, don't tell me. Was. You see, I don't have time for stupid kids. Let your dad call me. It's in the front of you, you coward liar. It's in the front of you. What is with them? This is Yusuf Ali translation. Let us try a different translation. Shakir. Shakir. Do you see it, guys? And verifying what that which they have. Do you see it? So the first translator he says what they have. The second translator says what they have. Let us see the third translation translation. Big tab. Here we go. Confirming that in their position. Do you see it? <laughs> so now we have a three translation. All of them they are saying confirming what they have. This guy here is making it even more clear. Confirming in their what is in their position. They have a position in it right now. Let us continue. Translator number four. Muhsin Khan. Read with me. Confirming what is with them. You are a potato and you've been fried. And by the way, I don't accept any Islamic translation even for this verse. All of them, they are liars, as you see. But now we have a problem. This guy, when he called me, he said, they fabricated later. Yes, Abdul, what do you want? I said, for argument, let's say, for argument's sake, like, 
Mm. Okay. Okay. But but then uh, after after he said the Torah has been corrupted by the rabbis. Is that right? You are saying that the to the Torah is corrupt after that, right? Yeah. Just to be clear. Okay. After that, when? After Muhammad, before Muhammad. I mean, obviously not before Muhammad because he's confirmed what they have, right? Let's say for argument's sake, they have what is right. No, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me before arguments are talking. You said, because you said to me before I said that to you, that it was corrected later after Muhammad. After after Muhammad, he confirmed that. So, after that, when? Um, why, why they were alive? Was it, was it like, uh, when the Jews refused Muhammad, they were corrupting the Bible or the, the Torah already, or this is something happened long after, when Muhammad was inviting them to convert to Islam. Yes. So they were corrupting the the Torah already. Yeah. It's all by then, huh? It was already corrupted by then. It was already corrupted by then. So you, so your prophet should not take an oath by it, right? Do you take an oath? Are, are you willing to take an oath by a corrupted book? The what most Muslims think about the Torah and the Injil is basically there are some parts that are true and there's some parts that are lies. My friend, a book is corrupt, is corrupt. There's nothing is called part. No, of no. Part. The whole book, either the book is corrupt or the book is not corrupt. No, no. So okay, we'll hold on, hold on. Okay. okay, hold on. I will, I will, go, I will go with you, we'll guys. We'll guys, hold on. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. The book, part of it we'll is corrupt. Okay, if a book is part of it is corrupt and part of it is not corrupt. Are you willing to swear by the book, which means whatever is inside the book? Are you willing to say, I believe in you? Yes or no? Surah Baqarah 275. My friend, answer. Are you willing to, yes, if I give you a Torah right now, what you are saying, the Torah have part of it is corrupt and part of it is not corrupt. If I give you the Torah, which is have, according to you, what is corrupt and what is not corrupt? Are you willing to take an oath in that book? Today, no. Today, no. So how Muhammad, he take an oath by it? Show me the verse. The hadith in the front of you, it says that the prophet, he said, he, he, he asked them to break the whole Torah, not a page of the Torah. They give him the Torah. He put his hand on it and he, swear, he said, I swear by thee and the one who sent thee. Why he hang up? <laughs> call me back, call me back, Abdul. What kind of a prophet you Muslims keep saying to us that the Torah, the Bible is corrupt, and here we go, we find that your prophet, the hypocrite man, holding the Torah, placing his hand, he took the cushion from underneath of him, treating the Torah with a lot of respect because he's a hypocrite man in front of the Jews. He's trying to show the Jews, I am one of you. I believe in your book. So he took the Torah, he placed it in the cushion to show how much respect he had for the book. And then he placed his hand in the Torah. And then he said, I believe in thee, And him who sent revealed thee. How you do that? The whole story about the Torah being corrupted is a lie. Here we go. Muhammad himself is taking an oath by the Torah. The Muslims, we ask them, why, why Muhammad came? They say, because you Christian corrupt the Bible and the Torah. Obviously, this is false. Muhammad had no reason to come anyway. Do we have any Abdul have the courage and the knowledge? Everything you Muslims you say about Christianity and Judaism proved to be a lie and Muhammad is nothing but a scam He speak to the Jews. He act as a Jew. He's like Obama with the Muslims He's a Muslim with the Jew. He's a Jew with the Hindu. He's a Hindu with the Christian He's a Christian with the atheist. He's an atheist with the gays. He's a gay with the straight. He's a straight You want to call me Yes, Abdul. Yo, why is why is it keep cutting off? 
I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe because you did not take an oath. Maybe you need to take an oath, my friend. So why your prophet he took an oath in the Torah, my friend? Okay, let's not let's not go from the Quran to the Hadith. Let's stick to the Quran. No, no, we stick whatever we need to stick. Your prophet saying that. Respect, respect your prophet, please. Respect, show, show respect your show, show respect your prophet. Show respect your prophet. Show. Read with me. Why your prophet he did? Why you're a prophet? He took an oath on the Torah. Answer, please. I can't see your screen, first of all, but I'm gonna read this verse. This is not, my, this is not my problem. Look at the screen, look on YouTube. This is not my, my, my problem. You look, why you don't look? Are you blind or what? Maybe. Okay, this is maybe. Well, let, let your, your dad call me then. I have no time for kids. I have something for you. I put it out for you so you might read it. And then you say to me, I'm not going to read it, and I don't want to look. Be a man. What kind of a prophet he take an oath in the fabricated book unless he is a scam? If a Muslim now he gave me the Quran and he said to me, Do you swear? Are you willing to swear in the Quran? I will say over my dead body. Why are you are calling me back again? Are you go are you willing to read it or not? Are you going to read it? Or, are you willing to read it or not? I'm trying to I'm trying to read two screens at the same time because I'm on. Don't read two screens at the same time. We read one. What's wrong with you? Read this one first and then read the second screen for me. Go ahead. Hello. Can you hear me? What do you mean? What, what you're calling me if you want to read it? Read it, read it. It's very embarrassing. Why you're a prophet? Taking an oath in a fabricated book if this is a fabricated Torah. One second. I'm trying to read the YouTube at the same time. I'm, I'm on the phone. So give me. Or is this okay? Then. What's happening, my friend? Like his his connection maybe is not good. Are you there? Hello? Who is a Muslim willing to call us, please? I want a real educated Muslim. You see, as you see, those they claim to be educated, but obviously the more they talk, the more they do poo poo. You see, the problem with Muhammad, he can be a perfect prophet, but there's a problem in the claim. He needs to talk. And the second he talk, he don't talk, he do poo poo. And this is why we love how in the world Muhammad can be a prophet I challenge any Muslim to find me any reasoning to believe in Muhammad to be a prophet actually even look, you remember I have a debate with a Muslim Abdul he claimed to be a, a, a knowledgeable he said I said to him, what is the prophecy of your prophet in the Quran? Where is the prophecy of Muhammad in the Quran? Because if you have a prophecy, it should be in the Quran. He said he don't have any. So why are you calling him prophet? Guys, let me prophesy for you. I am a Christian prince and I am a Muslim prophet. Next month, there is many women, they will have their period. And I predict that Allah, he told me, that next month somebody his faucet somewhere is going not is going to leak count my words and i predict that tomorrow in the highway somewhere in the world he is going to have an accident when he's driving his car and let me give you i just received a prophecy oh, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm downloading now it's coming it's coming yes right now as we speak there is a woman somewhere she is delivering a baby allahu akbar allahu akbar how he knew that Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I received another prophecy. 
the prophecy saying that this woman she will deliver a, a baby it might be a boy it might be a girl yes abdul have you still on screen i'm waiting for you to read is it still on screen yes okay one second because you uh, can you just share it on the skype screen you can't. Abdul, don't waste my time. What's Skype? Go, don't call me again today. You're done. I, I give you more than, more than you deserve. Don't call me now. That's it. I want a new Muslim to call me. Why you don't take your time, you coward liar, and read it in the screen before you call me? Why you don't stop being, being a hypocrite liar? You did see it already. It is there. I have it there for the last 20 minutes. It takes you two seconds. Look in your phone, read it, and call me. Did you read it or not? See, did you read it or not? I believe in don't, the, don't talk, don't talk. Did you read it or not? In, I if, believed in the and if, if, if you read it, if you read it, did you read it or not? Huh? Did you read it or not? Yes, yes. Okay. So why yes. he said that? Why he said that? I said yes. Okay, why he said that? Why he said I believe in thee? Huh? Why your prophet take an oath in the Torah? Go ahead. I believe in thee. Hmm. I believed in thee and him who revealed thee. Hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why he said that? How he believe in thee and the one who revealed thee? Because if this is a corrupt book, basically the reason for that is basically mm -hmm. basically what? I mean, basically, your Allah internet is horrible. Who is a Muslim? He have a good internet. We will have some patience, no problem. Now, why he is why he basically what he's doing basically? Go ahead. So um he's saying I believe the D and he, in whom we the that's the that's for you as Muslim believers. So we also believe in the Torah, we believe in the Zabur, and we believe in the Jin. We're not Muslims, we don't believe in the this, this is not a question. Place his hand over book, physically swearing by book. He is not yes, swearing by a Torah to him long time ago. He is swearing by a physical book in his hand. He placed his hand on it, saying be talking to that book. And so how he swear by the book, it is correct. But listen, I I believe in the Torah as well. Abdul, so, this, is not the, this is not question games. This is not the question. The question is how he believe in that Torah, which is under his hand, that Torah. Yes. Yes, 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 brother. Yes. How he believe in it? How yes? What do you mean yes? It is a physical book between his hand. The Jews have it in that time. How it is corrupt, and he placed his hand on it, and he said, "I swear by thee." He did not even say the Torah. He said, "I believe in thee," which means thee, the book here, that book in the front of my hand. I believe uh, in I thee. Say, I want to say that's what he's saying. I want to say that that's what he's trying to convey. He's basically conveying the fact that I believe in thee, which he's talking about the book. The book and which is under his hand. D. What what is the what yes. is the V? What is the D? The book is under his hand. Is, D is the engine. The book is under his hand, correct? Whatever whatever book is under his hand, correct? Yes. Okay, how he swear by the corrupt book. Why really? One second. He says, I believe in thee and in whom he revealed thee. Hmm. That's what basically he's saying. Why we can repeat ourselves? Like, are you a kid or what? We said we said you said that already 20 times already. Why he is the question is not what he said now. We know what he said. Why he is swearing by a book, it's corrupt. Is it corrupt book or not? Why? It's corrupt. So why he is swearing by it if it's corrupt? So hmm. One second, let me read the full passage. And then go and then I'll read the question. Can you scroll down? Hello? Hello? Hello, hello. It's in the front of you. I scroll down. Time is up.
You need all this time to tell me why he's taking an oath with it. All after all this call, you hang up, you call me, you hang up, you call me, you hang up, or call me, and we go back from zero. Why he so is? Basically, yeah, basically, basically. Oh, what? I, yeah, basically. Can't, I can't give you the answer to that. You cannot give me the answer to that. Okay, we need another. We need another Muslim then to call us. Thank you very much. You cannot. He cannot give me the answer for that. Obviously, this is a stupid thing. His prophet doing. He cannot explain how stupid his prophet is. He can't explain that his prophet is a scam. He can't explain that his prophet is a liar. He's taking an oath in a book. He don't believe him because this is what it's called hypocrisy. This is what called a devil behavior. You don't take an oath in a book. You don't believe him unless you really you believe in it. You don't take an oath by a fabricated book, which is holding words not from God. And you say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. The second you say, I believe in the one who sent thee, it's mean everything in thee is sent by he, the one he believed in thee. Correct, guys? If I say I believe, if you give me a Quran and I say I believe in thee and the one who sent thee, it's mean I believe in whatever written here and I believe in whoever sent that. If there's a corruption in the book, it's mean I believe in the devil. Do we agree? <clears throat> Who's next? Who's next? May they, may they. We need a Muslim. May they, may they. Hey, no, don't be scared, my friend. The Abdul will explode. It's not a bomb. It is the Abdul going to explode. The Muslims are going to explode because of me. I'm not even. I'm not even debating them. Actually, you know, guys, I'm not even looking at the screen. To be honest with you. Hello? Hello? It's me you're looking for. Allah cannot debate me. So is Jibreel afraid of me. And Muhammad is terrified because of me. Hello? This is, this is religion? Now we go back to zero. We go back to the question, how Muhammad he went to the seven heaven eleven? This is one of the most funny, stupid stories exposing that Muhammad is a false prophet. Guys, if we read the story, Muhammad, he was between the stage of sleep and awake. <laughs> All right? This is what it says. He was between the sleep and awake. And then there's two angels, they came and they stuff. Have you ever heard of an angel? They stuff wisdom in your vein and nerves. By the way, this has happened to us always in the Middle East. But once, to be honest, this is a true story. Take a note, please. This is a true story. A uh, brother, the third, once I went to the hospital to check my blood, and when they did, uh, did the DNA test, the brother, they found that I have 99% wisdom and 1% uh, intelligence. They stuffed his what? Let me show you the hadith. I never heard of such a thing. This is amazing. The first plastic surgery done for a person. Hello? Hello, sir. Can you please just uh, mute uh, YouTube? You're from your side, please, if you don't mind. All right, no problem. Yeah, hello. Yeah, if you have a TV, if you can mute the TV, please, so we don't have double sound. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, what do you want to say, my friend? Go ahead. Yeah, it's me, David. Uh, well, <laughs> I just want to uh, commend your efforts. I've been, I've been laughing. <laughs> With these stupid abrus. <laughs> well, what we can do, what we can do. I feel sorry for them. I'm not here to make fun of them, actually. But it's Islam is a stupid. What I can do, it's not my fault. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know, you, you know what? Uh, a, a night without you, uh, the broadcast is just like a, like a. How would I would like to say it is just like a dull moment. You know, like <laughs> when I just feel like, oh, CP is not on tonight. I was like, what is happening tonight? You know. <laughs> 
you know, it's 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 very it's, well. I just want to commend your efforts that you've been you've been doing good, and we really appreciate what you're doing. And um, thank you. Man. And I say that some, some Muslims they are they are having thinking about their, their faith, and um, some of them are coming to Christ, and some of them are still like out of um, that stupid religion. Because if people can believe in all these stupid things that Muhammad is saying or doing, his behavior, his you know, his attitude, and all those things. Yeah. And they call such a filthy idiot man like that. It shows the kind of person the person is as well. If you believe, uh, one guy said that uh, people act according to their God. So I say Muslims they act according to their God as well because their God lacks morality, you know. So lacks yes. moral. Yes, my friend, I apologize from you. Your voice is really bad, so I cannot put you on air for long because hardly I can understand anything we are saying. Okay. All right. No I hope your, your your internet will get better. Maybe you need to close some applications next time you call me. All right. No thank, problem. Thank no you problem. for calling, my friend. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Please, guys, before you call, if you have a bad internet, close your applications. So at least we will be able to hear what you are saying. You know. Now we are not here to make fun of the Muslims, but it's not my fault if what you say is a stupid. Read with me carefully, please. It was narrated from Anas from Malik that the prayer were enjoined in Mecca and that two angels came to the messenger of Allah and took him to Zamzam. They there where they split upon his stomach. What? What 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 they what they opened? They opened the stomach of the Prophet. Thank God I am not a prophet. I don't want to be a prophet. Hello? 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 Yes, my friend. I'm back. I want to ask what the Hadith is talking about. My, my friend, let us let me finish my topic and then when we finish it, please you can ask me any question. Let us finish this one we have in the screen. We're talking about the uh, 70 virgins, you know. Okay, we I will answer you after that. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Look at this. And angels, the two angels, they came and they split, they cut the stomach of Muhammad. I feel sorry for Muhammad. You see, there's some ladies, they when they give birth, they have a problem to deliver. So what they do, or even some of them, because they are lazy, they don't want to go through the pain. So what they do, they do the surgery, you know, they cut their down there, which is not really good for this is will not be healthy. However, it looked like Muhammad he was giving birth and looked like the angels they cut the wrong place because supposedly they are going to wash his heart and instead of cutting in the heart area they cut his stomach any Muslim can explain to me why the angels they got the stomach of the Prophet and then they took took out his innards and basin and so and and, and took it and took out his inards in a basin. What what inard means, guys? What inard mean? Any anybody can tell me what what is uh, because I don't know what this word in English. I know what it says there in Arabic. Just to be sure that this is the correct word. What is inside, right? Inard is what is inside. Is that correct? Intestine. So like his uh, organs, the organs inside his belly, his stomach. Man, they took it off. All of those now in the in that in that in the. This is a horror. Imagine you are. Imagine we have a video and we are doing live broadcast for the surgery in YouTube. Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad, Prophet, Prophet, you went through a lot of suffering. Here we go. Just because you want to be our Prophet, they are cutting your stomach and taking everything out, and now you have empty stomach. All your organs are out in the in the in the in the shower top. Just thank Allah, please Allah, don't make me a Prophet. I don't want that. I, I I accept to be the keeper for the virgins if you want. Okay, 
I don't want to be a prophet. You can give me a different job. Uh, Abid Suleiman, just uh, uh, search for debate TV, my friend. Debate TV. Somebody post for him, please. The account name. Debate TV, Abu Suleiman. You are a Muslim, Abu Suleiman. Call me. I will be happy to. Yeah, I like I like to work for Allah, but maybe like I like to work in the warehouse where the versions are. You know, that would be fun. Me, I will not even open my chat room again. I will be busy all day long taking off, taking care of the versions. One after one is coming to my counter asking me for a favor. Eesh. Me and people they say, what is, what is the Christian prince? What, what, what happened to him? Where did he go? What, what are you talking about? If the versions are there, you think I'm going to spend my time with you? Billions of versions. If every Muslim, if every Muslim, let, let's calculate. Who, is, who of you is good in mathematics? Show me, show me your skills. If every Muslim will get 80,000 version, how many versions will have today? Just for the, by the way, this for the living one. If we count the, the dead Muslims, that will be endless. I mean, how many dead Muslims already there? Seven billions? Plus the one billion point four, whatever. Each one of them, he will have 80,000 versions. <sighs> yeah, I cannot forget the for, for a refurbished version, absolutely. The one who have nice front, nice private part, and nice uh, vagina. Very beautiful. So, Muslims, do you really believe in this? That Allah, He filled, and I hope, but you know, there's something here. Sorry, I, I cannot, I cannot take it. It says that they filled His heart with wisdom, but yet. They cut off his stomach. I will tell you a secret, but please don't tell anyone. We Arab, Arab, our heart is in our stomach. We are different. So don't think those angels, they made a mistake. If you go and do an x-ray for any Arab guy like me, I'm an Arab, you will not find our chest have a heart there. No. It is sometime actually some Arab their heart can be found in their stomach and some it can be found in their balls. What is that, Muslims? The angels they found the heart of the Prophet in his stomach, he ate it in the stomach. Are you sure? Obviously, this is a very much of science. Actually, I have a friend. He's, a, he's an Arab like me too. Uh, he told me that they cut his stomach. They did not find the heart there. They found the cell phone. I don't know what happened. I think maybe he stole it or something. Do we have any Abdul? Balls? You don't know what balls? I will tell you what balls. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> How we get, how I can explain to you? I will explain to you the balls the same as my grandmother. She explained to me how my dad and my mom they brought me. Should I do that? What do you mean you do not know what balls? Do we have any Abdul? This is religion and this is a prophet, and this is how you Muslims follow him. A guy they filled his heart in his stomach which is in his stomach with wisdom look in different hadith the story changed let me go down a little bit <sighs> what is the hadith uh, mm. here we go look at this one this hadith is more more into detail it's more scientific let's say <clears throat> Look, so they took him to Zamzam and Jibreel cut open a part of his body. From where? Between his throat and the middle of his chest. From here to here, by the way, in different hadith it says, from here to here, they asked the narrator, what do you mean from here to here? He said from here to his, to his testicles, which is a lot. 
And then he says, and he took all the material, I don't know what material is there, maybe, I don't know, plastic or something, out of his chest, and abandonment, and then wash it with Zamzam water with his own hands till he cleansed the inside of his body. And then they brought a golden tree, and then a golden tree containing a gold bar full of belief and wisdom. <laughs> oh man, I want to get such a dish. Have you ever heard of belief and wisdom coming in dishes? Muslims, do you really believe that faith and wisdom they come in dishes? Who is a Muslim here? Believe in that. Who is the Muslim? He really believe, truly believe that wisdom come. Let us call Zach and I. I'm calling his cell phone. So they charge him some units. I hope he will answer. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, uh, Doctor Zakir Naik, we have a question about uh, that the angels this they, they 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 brought to the prophet a dish of gold uh, full of faith and wisdom. How this happened? Okay, first of all, I told you I told you one thousand times before. Don't ever call me in the middle of the night. I have four wives and I had to satisfy them. I am required, not like you Christian, to have sex with them every day. Secondly, about the prophet, this is possible. God of Islam, he provides all with wisdom to the prophet and he sends them in this as an example. Me, myself, I know nothing about Islam. I invoke Allah, my God, and he sent me a death with them. And this is why I'm very smart. Thank you very much. Muslims. You say to us that your God, if he wants something to be, he say be. So why he need to do a plastic surgery? Same then so two doctors, three angels, who they supposedly surgeon to cut the chest of the prophet. What about what, what is the problem with Muhammad? Why they are doing that? Hello? Hello? Yes. Are you Christian Pias? Yes, I am, my friend. You are live now. Go ahead. What do you want to say, my friend? I have I have seen uh, you debating, uh, debating on Hadith. You saw you saw me what? Debating on Hadith. Debating on Hadith is useless. <laughs> debating and is just a waste of time. Debating who is useless? I'm not sure. Debating on Hadith is. That's a waste of time. Why it's a waste of time? Why? My friend, so what hadith? Hadith is what Muhammad said. So are you saying that your prophet is a funny guy? Are we you saying this uh, scripture? Ah, debate okay, here we go. We can debate, debate you about the scripture. What scripture you want to debate about? Choose for me a topic from the Quran so we can debate about it. Go ahead. What do you want to tell me? Okay, tell me, you give me a verse. Which verse you like to talk about in the Quran? Uh, it's up to you because you it's you who have a problem with the uh, My friend, the I, don't, I don't have a problem with the Quran. It is you who have a problem because I don't follow the Quran. Why am I going to have a problem with that? I have, you know, I'm having fun. You are the one who have a problem. The Quran causing you a problem. But anyway, as long as you are saying to me, pick up whatever you want. I'm trying just to be, just to, show you, just, just to show you, my friend, just to show you that I'm very sure that whatever you pick up for me, any chapter in the Quran, I will find you errors and funny, stupid stuff there. So why you don't choose for me the best chapter you think is good for you? And let us see if it's stupid or smart. What chapter you like? Now it's up to you. 
Okay, it's up to me. See, guys, I ask, I, I, I ask him, I, I ask him many times, and he, and he, you know, he is, uh, you know, he don't want to choose one. So what I can do? Okay, let me ask you then. There is a, there is a, uh, in the Quran, uh, there is a story about uh, Shaitan. He is building statues for a prophet in the Quran. Do you know who is that prophet? Prophet uh, Sulaiman. Prophet yeah. Sulaiman. Okay. Why, why, okay. So why Sulaiman? Allah, He is ordering the devils to build for him Tamathil, which is a statues, when it is haram in Islam to have a statue. I don't. No, it's not haram. It's not haram. It's not haram in Islam to have a statue. It's not haram. It's not haram. No, worshiping them is haram. Ah, so you can have statues, but worshiping them is, is haram. So what's the purpose of having statues? Why he was having statues? That's up for decoration. Oh, for decoration. Art. It's a work of art. Okay, so guys, he said it's a decoration. So why your prophet, he said that the one who draw a picture, Allah will burn him and he will force him. He will stay in hellfire until judgment day for drawing that picture. That's bullshit. That's, uh, I agree. Uh, this is bullshit. I, I, I agree, guys. Did he say this is bullshit? Did he say this is bullshit? Yes, it's okay. bullshit. So I what? don't believe in this fake edit that came about uh, to uh, two hundred after the prophet death. My friend, my friend, after, uh, how how you know it is a fake hadith? Who told you it's a fake hadith? How you know? I mean, because uh, the Quran, the Quran doesn't forbid, doesn't doesn't forbid uh, using statues. Okay, show me where in the Quran it says. Forbid, uh, show me, show me where in the Quran it says does not forbid you from using statues. Can you show me the verse? Is any min al avoid the confusion? Is any is any Okay. Is, is that Arabic? You are the one saying. Is that Arabic? Arabic. Uh, are you Arabic. A, are you a Moroccan? What are you? I'm an Azarian. Uh, Azari. Uh, okay, this is not Arabic. I cannot understand the word. It sounds like a gibberish for me. My friend, where is the verse on the Quran that says that you can have a status? Can you show me? It's tenable. It's tenable. Uh -huh. Okay. Tenable. Rista min Okay. So what is the rajis? What is it? This is the it's the confusion, confusion, confusion of uh, confusion of worshiping. No, my or, friend. Uh, or is it? No, uh, no. This is not true. That word means the statues. That word. No, 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 do, no, do you no, want to? No, no, okay. Do you want? Do you want to? No, uh, 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 do you, uh, do you want to challenge me? Do you want to challenge me? Yeah, I want to challenge you. You okay. still believe in that? Uh, you still believe that feta? Is a little boy. Abdul, and, Abdul, uh, Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. And, uh, okay, Abdul. And the Abdul, is, Abdul. Uh, prostitution. Abdul. All these are fake uh, interpretation. All these are uh, Mr. Ah, Mr. so you are you, you you run to say that this is a false interpretation. Okay, so, can so, so, so why? So why? Okay, hold on, hold on. Why you are why you are saying the interpretation is false for the verse you choose for me? So you are saying that the interpretation agree with me? It's against you. No, it's not again. This okay. is the confusion, confusion of belief. Are you sure? Confusion in uh, okay in one's belief. Okay, the verse you quote for me is a chapter seventy-four, verse number five. What religious fahjur? Correct. What is the translation for? Do you want to read the translation? Yeah, this is Arabic scene, the scene, not Arabic scene. Huh? What? This Arabic scene, not this. A vaccine of a sound, not yeah. the same. Arrages, arrages, It is, it, it is, it is, it is idol worshiping, my friend. Correct? Is arrages? Is it, is it an, is it an idol worshiping? Yes or no? Yes, but it's confusing. okay. So, guys, okay, okay, okay. So, why Allah, why Allah, why Allah saying to Muhammad, stay away from worshiping idols if you don't worship idols? What was wrong? Why in this verse saying to him, stay away from worshiping idols? Why he said that to him? Uh, 
Was Muhammad worshiping idols? No, it's another word. It's a this. This is another word. It's not a this. My friend, my friend, what is not a religious? What are not What are you talking about? What this word mean? Is it? Do you want? Do you want to read the interpretation for it? Can we go there? Do you want me to go there? I told you this is the confusion. It and it, uh, it uh, differs from uh, context to context. What context to context? I'm asking you this verse, chapter seventy-four, verse number five. Is it about worshiping the idols? Yes or no? Chapter what? I uh, tell me. Uh, I... Chapter seventy-four, verse number five. I will see. Hmm. Seventy-four. Verse yes. Number five. Verse number five. I told you it's not this uh, the, the this word that I'm uh, talking about. The difference is in the last uh, letter. My friend, my friend, this it doesn't matter. This. Doesn't matter. Okay, that that one, what one? Let us focus on this one. Was your prophet worship? Focus on this. Was, no, the verse. Abdul, was you was your prophet? Was your prophet? Was your prophet, was your prophet worshiping idols? Yes or no? No. Okay. So why he is saying to him, stay away from worshiping idols? No, it's not uh, from worshiping idols. My friend. So why he is saying to him, stay away from worshiping idols? If you don't worship idols anyway. The difference li lies in the, the last letter. The, it's not. Uh, uh, my, friend, sound, my, fr it's my friend. My friend. My friend. My friend. My friend. It's my friend. It's my friend. It's hold on. Hold on. Take it. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. All right. Do you do you read my screen? I'm showing you a screen in front of my in front of my eyes. Do you see a screen? Do you see a screen? Are you there? No, uh, my internet is uh, is very slow. Okay, read with me. It says it says a Rogers, a Rogers. Here we go. Even he wrote it for you in English. Or idols. Do you see it? So I was right, and you are wrong. No, no, it's the misinterpretation. No. What, what, it's, what? It's not, it's, uh, this is the Are you saying you know? Are you saying you know better than Emika Of course, it's not me. There are no of course, to, uh, did you hear it? Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? Of course, you know better than Emika Of course. Okay. Who is the scholar? Uh, who is the scholar? Uh, hold on, hold on. Emika obviously is an idiot for you. Who is the scholar agree with you? There are plenty of uh, new uh, reformers. There are there, there ah, are, uh, so you want to go by the reformers yeah. because now the old the scholars they got your prophet busted. So what we do, we try to fabricate a new interpretation for the Quran. That's why you are saying we go with the new reformer. Nah, 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 nah. So you are saying to me that Ibn Kathir is a liar, right? No, it's not a lie. Abdul, I have no time for kids. Let your dad call me. When we debate, we debate in an academic way. When I show you, when I mention something, I prove it. And by the way, I don't agree with the Kathir. I'm just using what they what they have in their books. They lie about the meaning and their Quran is full of contradiction. How in one place you say that statues is haram, pictures is haram, a person who draw a picture, even Allah, he will draw the picture for him and he will say to him, okay, blow on it, breathe, breathe. Uf, uf, uf. So Allah, because he want him to create it, make it alive, this, because this is how Allah supposedly, and this is even how Jesus in the Quran, he breathed into the, the mud, right? And he made it come in to be alive. So Allah will bring you in the judgment day and he will bring the picture you draw with your hand and he will, he will force you to breathe into it. And if you could not make it come to life, Allah will punish you. And he will force you to breathe into it and, and, and it for eternity in fire. Do you see the hate, guys? Read with me.
messenger said he who painted the picture in the world be compelled to breathe soul in them in the day of resurrection In different hadith, Muhammad he said, speak more about what Allah, how Allah will torture those who make pictures. So which one is more bad in Islam, making a picture or having a statues? Obviously, the statues are a lot more ugly. Hmm? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? By the way, we have to admit that the Prophet sometimes he say a lot of wisdom as an example, the story in front of us, but he said, don't he, a Muslim, he dare how Muslim not afraid that if he raise his head for Imam Allah head as a dawn. And I find that this is very astonishing, full of wisdom. Because it's proven by science today that there's a lot of donkeys can be found in Al-Qaeda mosque, as an example, or ISIS mosque. Obviously, because they are raising their head before the Imam. And look what happened to them. Allah, he made their heads like donkeys. Is that wisdom? For those who are asking me to be nice, I cannot be nice. Sorry, you are in the wrong place. I'm debating the devil, and I cannot be nice with them. I'm not debating this Abdul. This guy is a victim. I don't debate Muslims. Christian Prince, I heard yeah, gay and take it up. Okay, hold on. Guys, did this guy he is saying to me you are a gay? How Muslims, how Muslims you are speaking about gays when you're a prophet, he was a gay. And I can prove it easy. Let us read together. You are the one who brought this topic. I'm sorry. Well, I am not a gay, but your prophet is. And the proof is here. Read with me. Abu Abdul Rahman ibn blah 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 quoting a blah 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 giving blah 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 saying blah 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 said, and this is Sahih Hadith. You're a prophet. He came to a man. And he poked up under his ribs with a stick. He said, Let me, let me take the reason. What the, what? He said, Take retaliation, please. Okay. Then he said, You are wearing a shirt, but I am not. Uh oh, things are getting hot. The prophet said, Then raised his shirt, and then the man embraced him. And began to kiss his side. What? 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 Hello. Hello. And by the way, it doesn't say that the man he is kissing the side. It says that the prophet is kissing the side. It doesn't matter anyway who is kissing who. What kind of a prophet he is doing that with the man? And then the guy Muhammad he said, the, and the proof that Muhammad is the one who was kissing him. The proof of that, for this is false translation. You will see the man he said. Then he said, "This is what I wanted, Messenger of Allah. Don't stop, don't stop, please. Yes, 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 yes. This is what I want. Don't please, 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 don't stop. This is the proof that the one was kissing. It was the Muhammad kissing the man. If the man is the one is kissing, Muhammad should say that. Correct, guys? Is that correct?" You see how they fabricate the translation, they make it as it is the man kissing Muhammad, but the fact it is Muhammad kissing the man. How the man, how he is kissing, but he can talk it. Muhammad is kissing the man in his body, naked body, and the man he says, This is what I want, Prophet. Yes, please don't stop. Please, Prophet. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> this is what, Prophet, please, 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 please don't stop. They're right there, right there. Allahu Akbar, take me here. You want to talk about gays? Should I show you more reference, my friend? Where is the Abdul who speak about gays? Should I show you the hadith where your prophet he said in the heaven there is 
bazaar where people they buy and sell nothing except images of men and women <sighs> let's find you the hadith see the, the what happened the Muslims they open a topic but then right away when they open it they feel sorry for mentioning that I mean don't do that with me anything you say is is going you will be take accountable for what you say don't accuse you see the Muslims they accuse us of things it is their prophet who have it read with me please And I like it when the prophet he say indeed, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> oh boy! All right. The prophet of Allah, the messenger of Allah, S A W S A W mean uh, uh, supplier of aftermarket weird stories. Indeed. In paradise, there is a market which there is no buying nor selling except, which means, yes, there is buying and selling, but the product there is one for images of men and women. Mm. So what we have in the heaven of Allah, we have a mall. Let us go to the mall. What they have in the mall? There's no couches, there's no furniture, there's no clothing, there's no jewelry, there's no uh, shoes, nothing, nothing. There's only images in the mall. Images of what? Men and women. And Muhammad continues saying, so whenever a man desire, who, who is the customer, guys? Who is the customer? Is it a man and a woman? No. The customer is a man. You see it? A man. Desire what an image he enter it, which means you have sex with it. But the pictures are picture of what pictures of men and women. So a Muslim man in the heaven he will have sex with men and women. This is the first virtual sex. Ever and you guys, you say that internet sexual internet, blah blah blah. This look like this. This is virtual. You see a picture, you jump inside the picture, you have sex, whoever with inside the picture, regardless of they are men or women. Any picture you see, you jump inside it and you boom boom. It was once I was in Asia, a woman she came to me and she said to me, Boom boom. I said to her back, Boom boom. She said, okay, go boom boom. So what where boom? What is that? Boom boom. But then I, I learned what boom boom mean. You know, I, you have to be careful with boom boom. A lot of boom boom. So you Muslims, you will go in the heaven, you are going all the way to heaven, and then you take the bus, you go to the mall. In the mall, there's a mall which have nothing except a Playboy magazine, naked men and women. And then the picture you like, you jump inside it, have sex with it. Alhamdulillah. Boom, boom. And you are talking about gays? You will do boom, boom with men? Who is the Muslim? Who is the guy who uh, speak about uh, uh, my friend, Al-Masih, who is Rab, Shtarani, Yani, Shabi, Khrati? Any Abdul, who is a smart Muslim would like to call us? Hey, by the way, Muslims, if you call me, Allah will give you a, a full magazine of boom boom for men and women, full of pictures. Where uh, I want to take in Arabia about New Testament, where you live. Okay, well, my friend, what talking to me about the New Testament have to do with where I live? Yeah, 
I'm a black, blonde, African-American. I don't know where I live. I'm confused like the prophet. Sometimes Jibreel come to me and he have a donkey with him. Sometimes he come without donkey. I don't know what to do. By the way, sometimes I feel like I'm a Muslim prophet too. You know? I get a lot of inspiration. Like as an example, <clears throat> Can we marry from watermelon? Hmm, interesting. Have you ever heard of religion speaking about having sex in watermelon except Muslims and Islam? I mean, how far the imagination of those people when it comes to sex can go? Sex with images, sex with picture of men and women, even watermelon? Hello? Who's Abdul wanna call me? Guys, did you notice that Muslims first time they call me, let us say they get so excited, like this guy with his name, uh, Muslima, he was so excited. And then he noticed that that was a big mistake. We lose them. Any uh, any Muslim would like to call? Guys, be honest. Do you like what Christian Prince do? What do you think? Are we doing good? I mean, do you like the way I do things? Take your attention. Take your attention before you tell me. I don't care if you like it or not. <laughs> I mean, look how rude he is. Unbelievable, this guy. Why is asking us if he don't care anyway? Eh, because I like to know. Thank you, fine, my friend, for liking my work. Thank you, thank you for all the love, especially those who love me. You know, according to YouTube, 99% of those who watch my videos are male. I mean, how lucky I am. Why I am not Muhammad? Imagine I am the prophet of Allah, and women are lined up in the front of my door. Uh, who is this? We are women, women coming to you. CP, CP, Allahu Akbar. We are going to say Shahada, submit ourselves to you. That's so beautiful. I mean, why I am not lucky like the Prophet Muhammad? Every morning you open your door. I mean, I will not even dare to open the door because they will flood the house. They will jump over me. Unbelievable. This is not even fair. Muhammad, he got all the women, I got nothing. <sighs> I love you all. Thank you very much. You know, my problem with, with the Christians, they, you know, because we as a Christians, we've been taught always to be very polite. And they think that Muslims, if we speak to them in a normal way, uh, we can do better. Trust me, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And I showed you that the Muslims, they believe in the Quran. And the Quran says that Christians being cursed by Allah and he made them nice. He made them nice to be humiliated. So the Muslims, they believe that when you are nice, that's not because you are a good guy. That's not because Jesus, he taught you to be nice. That's because Allah, he cursed you. Are you getting the point? Not because of the good of God, because it is the curse of Allah to make you nice to the point you accept to be humiliated. And this is the Quran in the front of your eyes. You believe in that? Chapter 3, verse number 12. Allah, He made a curse on us to the point we accept to be so nice to the point we will be humiliated with our kindness. And this is why the Abdul, they are desperate to debate someone. He is an American Christian a priest or a minister, etc. because they knew he is going to be so kind, so wonderful to the point we can throw stones at him, still he will not do any retaliation. 
that doesn't work with me because I know if I practice that with them that will make them believe that Allah is the one who made us nice to be humiliated you cannot humiliate us Muslims you cannot we are the followers of the true God we don't kiss the stones we don't pray in front of the stones and we don't go around the stones and we don't worship a man it's you who worship a man the Muslim they say to us how you accept a man to be God well you remember that he's a man but you don't remember that he is the one who can resurrect people from death and the Quran witness for that you remember only that he's a man when you want but you forget that he is the one who can tell you what you had in your houses as the Quran say you remember that he is just a man but you don't remember that he's entered now he's alive he is the living God who can be alive for 2,000 years and where in heaven even in your stupid cult Jesus the Christ is alive right now as we speak and he can hear us from heaven so you remember that he's a man when you want and you forget the rest when you want how can he be a man yet he can be who he is now you know what I mean the man he cannot do that Uh, uh, Abdul TV uh, actually the debate between hijab and David it was very good because I have a link for you there go there click at that link this is one of many videos I will make to show you how stupid what hijab he said he just destroyed Islam just to show you how horrible this debate is this debate is the most wonderful debate not because of David Wood but because you have the most stupid person to defend Islam he just insulted as the prophet and I will I will make videos because you know the problem I have a uh, very short time I'm spending too much time in the in live broadcast but already I made the three videos they are in Facebook and this video here this is the last one I made yesterday after I finish if you click at the info you will see watch his comedy this comedy and then you click at the drive Google download the video you will see how we strip this hijab by what he said I will make you so proud about him. Every Muslim should be proud. You will see. Just watch it and see how stupid he is. Now, who's next? And by the way, why don't dare to call me? Actually, Hijab, he said something. And by the way, I downloaded the video because I'm, I'm expecting him to take it down soon. For now, they are proud because those Abdul, they are stupid. They do not know what happened. That's why I download the whole video before they take it down. This guy, he said to David Wood, that the Quran would be destroyed. Is that correct, guys? Did he say that? He said the Quran will be destroyed. That is alone to prove that his guy is out of Islam. And the Muslims will torture him for that. Who is a Muslim he dare to call us? Who is a Muslim agree with the uh, Muhammad Hijab that for four thousand year, for he was shaking his hand for four thousand year, not a single rabbi do break the command. <laughs> four thousand years. That means the Quran is a lie. That means Muhammad is a scam. He just admitted that his prophet is a liar. Who agree with Muhammad Hijab? I challenge you to say I agree. Yesterday we got a caller and I showed him what Hijab he said. He said, I'm going to contact him to question him about that. Until now we got no answer. Who of you is going to question Muhammad Hijab for saying such a stupid thing? Accusing his prophet to be a liar. For 4,000 years, brother, 4,000 years, not a single rabbi. David would agree. I don't know if he agree. Well, if he agree, if he agree, that means he's telling the truth because not a single rabbi really worship another god. The problem here that Muhammad don't agree. Do you see what you stupid you are? Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This guy he is he's trying to be a smart as Muslim. Let me show you his text, just to show you how stupid when they try to defend. This guy here he said, David would agree. 
with hijab about for 4,000 years, not a single rabbi took as a God beside God. He never broke the command. Well, this is what Christianity teach. Hello? But your prophet don't agree. Your prophet in the Quran, he have verses saying that the Jews worship a guy, his name is Uzair. So if David would agree, that would be a problem for you Muslims. He agree with the stupid fool Muhammad Hijab. So we can get him busted. How you allow Hijab to say that for 4,000 years, not a single person, not a single rabbi, not a single Jew, worship a God beside God when the Quran says it clearly that they did take many as gods, including a guy, his name is Uzair. And they claim that he is the son of Allah. You see how stupid this is? I agree. I agree. I agree too. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> what what a stupid idiot. How you say that, Abdul? How you insult your prophet in your Quran and you claim that your prophet was fabricating a lie about the Jews. The Jews never worship anyone beside God. When your Quran says, وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ عُزَيْرٌ إِبْنُ اللَّهِ وَقَالَتِ النَّصَارَى الْمَسِيحُ إِبْنُ اللَّهِ قَوْلَهُمْ بِأَفْوَاهِهِمْ يُضَاهِئُونَ قَوْلَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ قَبْلَ قَاتَلَهُمُ اللَّهِ أَنَّا يُؤْفَكُونَ Like a horror movie. So, why your stupid hijab saying for 4,000 years, none of the Jews broke the command of God and worship someone beside God? He is accusing your prophet to be a scam. Where is the guy he said we agree? Do you agree with him too? Do you agree with Muhammad hijab? The guy who like Muhammad hijab, do you agree with him? I challenge you to call me and to say I agree with Muhammad hijab. Yeah, and he said supposedly he is schooling uh, David Wood about Hebrew. He said, uh, uh, as an example, <laughs> teach you Arabic and teach you Hebrew. I mean, <laughs> teach you Arabic <laughs> and Hebrew. <laughs> and then he said, Elijah mean God is with us. Guys, download, download the video. The video is there in the info. Please click. It says there down in the info. Watch this comedy. Please download that video. Post it all over the internet. Let everybody die laughing at Muhammad Hijab. Do we have an Abdul? This debate, this debate is going to be a tattoo of shame on the face of every Muslim because they were clapping. It's a tattoo. You're going to take it off. Is my voice good, bad, guys? Is my voice bad? No, no, no. Uh, why you cannot download my phone in in, uh, um, in Google when you click at the link? There is a okay, good. When you click at the link, maybe in your phone, I don't know. But in the computer, if you click in the top, there is a sign where you can click at download. Correct, guys? If you click at the link right away in the top right of the browser, you will see it says download. There's an arrow down. Click in it, and you can download the video. All right, it's very easy. But I warn you, you will laugh a lot. Now, do we have any Abdul would like to call us? Not in human sacrifice, they are better spirituality. That's that's false, Mr. I mean, you are a false person. Muslim they believe in a human sacrifice and they don't believe in spirituality. There's nothing is a spiritual in Islam. 
even the heaven of Allah is not about the spirit it's about your penis and your stomach so you are a liar now I challenge you to call me and show me where you got this information that Muslims do not believe in a human sacrifice isn't it Allah he says to them that Allah he ordered you to go and do jihad and kill you kill and you die this is a human sacrifice this is the biggest religion in the world who believe in a human sacrifice in order to make Allah happy we have to kill and we get killed if this is not a human sacrifice for you that's mean you are stupid when a Muslim today in Melbourne in Australia he take a knife and he started stabbing people he's stabbing them for the sake of who correct guys he's stabbing them for the sake of who for the sake of Allah that is a human sacrifice he stabbed more than 12 people to do what to make Allah happy and you are telling me you idiot they don't believe in human sacrifice we don't believe in a human sacrifice to forgive sin you stupid it is you who believe in that I challenge you to show me where the Christians believe in a human sacrifice to forgive sin human sacrifice you idiot if we kill somebody we believe if we kill somebody God will forgive us this is not what happened in Christianity is that correct guys is that correct any one of you here we believe that we sacrifice Jesus so we can be forgiven is that what happened that is a stupid of you to say we don't believe in such a thing human sacrifice is a bunch of believers sacrifice a living person in the sake for the sake of be forgiveness we did not kill Jesus we did not ask him to be killed we did not ask him to die and we did not ask for his death so you are a liar so what if he die if I say I sacrifice myself to defend you that does not mean me doing a human sacrifice you idiot obviously you do not know what a human sacrifice and we as a Christian when we say we are forgiven because of Jesus not because he is sacrificed sacrificing himself to save us but because he came to us and he did all what he he you know he, he, to prove to us how much he loved us but the salvation will happen if we believe in him Jesus said not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will which means okay he died in the cross but still we are not saved they killed him they shed his blood still we are not saved unless we do his will so you are a liar and you are a hypocrite and you don't dare to call me well you are a coward you don't dare to call me and show me where in my court doctrine it says that we believe in a human sacrifice you are a coward if you search right now in Google what is a human sacrifice you will see it's a group of believers who suffers who sacrifice somebody in order to be forgiven none of the believers sacrifice Jesus Jesus said nobody take myself from me but I lay down myself is that correct guys did Jesus say that nobody take it from me I lay down myself who is a brave Abdul he have the courage to call well you know we explain to you but look like you're a kid and you are here just to disturb this is why you keep asking me where you live for the last hour because you're Abdul and you are a coward same time let me show you what the Quran says about sacrifice the Quran used the word Qurban which is an Aramaic word why the Quran using Qurban you will notice that this this guy he claimed that they don't human sacrifice what is a human sacrifice it is you sacrificing a human being okay let me show you you he claimed to be a Jew this guy Muslims they're Christian Follow my story. God, he was Abraham's son. Is that correct? And the Jewish and the Christians, the three believe that God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son. So when you say you don't believe in human sacrifice, and you are making fun of it, you are making fun of your religion first. Because it is your God who's asking for a human sacrifice. That's number one. But the story here have a different meaning. In Christianity, 
God is not asking Abraham to do so because he wanted him to kill his son and the proof he did not let him do it it was a test for obedience for Abraham and his son they are willing to die to obey God but according to Muslims the story is different you will notice that in the Quran there's many places the verse Qurban or the word Qurban appearing there and the Qurban is always about a bloodshed not necessarily about a human sacrifice as an example in chapter 5 verse number 27 where the children of Adam they want to have sex with their sister one of them she have a cross eyes I don't know what what's wrong guys with my audio not sure why let me turn off my Skype hold on maybe that will help what I can do okay the chapter 5 verse number 27 it's about the children of Adam according to Muslims the wife of Adam Eve she used to give to give birth every time she gave birth to a boy and then and, and, and a girl in the same time all right and what Adam he used to do he marry or let us say he give the, the sister of the twin to the other twin which is a very funny stupid story but then Cain and Abel they have a fight over one sister both of them they want to have sex with her why because one of the sisters she have a cross eyes how stupid this story is two brothers are having a fight over a sister because one of them she have a cross eyes and nobody want to have sex with her if there's any Muslim that tell us what's happening so Allah he told Adam to tell his children to give a sacrifice one of them he gave a sacrifice which was a ram and the other one he gave sacrifice as zucchini Allah he accepted the ram and he ate it and he refused the zucchini and he must have, have an objection any Muslim has an objection hello are we telling the truth Muslims or we are lying hello who is a Muslim who is willing to call us chapter 5 verse number 27 Anyone? Two brothers are fighting over their sister, and both they don't want to have sex with the one she have across eyes. And the solution is to give sacrifice. And the one Allah he eat his his dish is the one who can take the one she have fine eyes. I mean, this is too much. Must be true. Who of you want to have a have a wife she have a cross eyes no way no way brother what's wrong with the woman she have a cross eyes I mean what's his fault what kind of a story story is any Abdul hello Who is Abdul when I give me a call? Anyone? And for sure the Bible he forbid that 
and there's verses in the Bible speaking about to forbid sacrificing your sons and your daughters. Who is the Muslim want to call us? May they, may they. A Muslim is needed. May they, may they. Who is next? Yeah, and you know the Muslims, all of them, they want to debate about the Trinity because it's an empty religion. They think if they if they say to us we believe in one God, that will make them reliable for us. But it's very funny. I mean, who cares if you have one God or 10 or 20 gods? You see, the issue is not about how many gods there is. Let us say, let us say, there is a million God. So there is somebody who believes there's million gods, and he and he we found later that he's right. That will not change anything. A million God or one God will not change anything. The question is, is this God who you claim to your ship, is it exist or not? You know what I mean? Is that is that logical, guys? The question is not about how many. The question if they are exist or not. Do you worship one or 10 or 50? They are all false. It is one false. It is two false. It's three false. It's five false. It's 20 false. Who here? The question is, is the is the God of Muhammadan, is it true or false? All the proof in front of us saying he's false. Have you ever heard of a God who don't remember even what he created first, trees or stars? Right? Any Abdul? How we can how we can believe in Muhammad? Show me. You tell me how. So you are obsessed with repeating yourself. We worship one God, one God. We worship one God. The Jews worship one God. So the old Egyptian worship one God. There's many religion. There's right now a church. It's called the Church of Satan in San Francisco. They worship the devil, and he is one God for them. So, you know, I will not show you the reference unless you get me Abdul. Get me Abdul. Make me excited. Guys, do you want to push me to the limit to show you things you have to bring me Abdul? Who want to bring me Abdul? Abdul, yeah, Abdul. Let us eat food. Oh, oh, Abdul. Abdul, yeah, Abdul. I love you, Abdul. Come to daddy. You don't believe in Christianity, you loser. Just try and do this other loser. Who is this one is talking? Lone wolf. Why you don't believe in Christianity, my friend? How you say that? I believe that Jesus is my God, my savior. What's your problem? Do you believe in Christianity yourself? How many Abdul? As, as, as many as possible, please. You know, because always we are looking for Abdul. Once the Muslim they recorded my voice saying, Give me one Abdul, I give you five hamburgers. So I went in a chat room and Pat talk. The Muslim they said to me, Hey Christian Prince, hey Christian Prince, listen, we know we know how you convert people out of Islam. I said in text, how? And they play my voice saying, Give me one Abdul, I will give you five hamburgers. What what what? I convert Muslims because I give them five hamburgers. Them really believe in that, and then they give them a the mask. They're trying to make fun of me. To them, well, you know what? Look, Muslims, you are telling me that you are willing to exchange your blood for five hamburgers, and then you so upset me. One who said that to me a second ago, when you to make Muslim leave Islam, play my voice, say you five hamburger. Hello, you are my wave again. <clears throat> Why? Sometimes I have, I feel I have a connection.
like waves, like you know, Prophet he used inspiration sometime as a self. What are you serious? My voice is cutting, I don't know what to say. It's what I can do, I mean. Uh, read carefully. Is that? Mm, I don't know what to do. Let me check. read Quran. Uh, gibberish, Boreal gibberish, Jibril gibberish. Fast my internet. Here we go. Bill is working on that now. Is it better now? He told me, he told me take like five minutes for, for to work. It's working. Look, Muhammad said. Muhammad said that the divine is. They ask him, divine inspiration come to you. But he said, in all those ways, angel, angel time come to me. Voice resemble the sound of a. Muhammad he received inspiration as a sound of a bell. Okay, I have a question. Muslim, I have a question. I just received inspiration from Allah, and this is the code I received. There is no sound. There is no sound. I think it's YouTube. YouTube have a problem. Do you hear any guys or no? I might heard. Sound is okay. Okay. I was saying, as long as Muhammad he received. Inspiration as a sound of a bell, as you see here. I received this inspiration from Allah. Okay, this is Morse code. We can translate that into words. How Muhammad translate the sound of the bell into Arabic? Any Muslim can tell us? How Muhammad can translate what he received as a sound of a bell? How that became Arabic language? Hello? Hello? Muhammad, you receive Muslim Abdul. Think with me. Please use your brain once in your lifetime. Muhammad, he just said. That he received Quran in a sound of a ringing bell. How that became Arabic? KGB, KGB, do you hear me? KGB, yes, CIA, yes, I hear you. Bravo, bravo. Delta. What is that? Muhammad he received inspiration as a ring of a bell. Why? Obviously, this guy he's suffering from mental illness. This is called seizure. Hearing voices annoying, destroying your brain. 
it's very clear that this man either he's possessed with the devil or he have a mental issue of a chemical balance in his brain any Abdul anyway guys uh, did we have enough for today guys do you want to stay more because look like today uh, the internet is bad and the voice is bad uh, YouTube is acting bad so I'm not sure what the, what what the, what's a, what's the problem with you two today. Abdul, do you miss me? Do you do you do you love me? Do you do you do you hate me? Do you do you do do you do do you do you do? Yes, I do. Now the Muslims answering. Yes, we do. We do hate you a lot. We do. We want to find you. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Can you tell us, please, where are you? We are desperate to find you for the sake of the leg of Allah. Who are you? And then Christian Prince, he say back. Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you hate me? Do you? Do you? Do you go crazy because of me? Do you? Do you? Do, do you? Do do you do you do and then the Muslim they say yes we do should we continue until tomorrow? We need the Muslim to call us. Hold on. I forgot that my Skype is off. I turn it off so we can hear better. Hold on, hold on. Let me turn it back on. I hope the voice is better now. <clears throat> Who is the second Abdul? We have three Abdul today called us. We are lucky. Any Abdul would like to call. I need what some rest yeah I need some rest actually my eyes hurting me too much looking at the computer <clears throat> <All right. coughs> hello hey CP hey my friend how are you yeah I'm very well yeah, I just wanna thank you for your show it's a really good show um, see the lab was there but none of them are calling apparently yeah, I thought I'd uh, well, we have uh, some Abdul in the beginning, so it was okay. I mean, like we have some. No, I see that. I've been watching for about well, about three hours now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the first time I called, I thought I'd give you a quick bow. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually a former Sikh myself. Okay. Uh, so I'm not an Abdul, but yeah, I used to listen to your uh, two shows when I was searching my faith, kind of thing. Um, yeah, so, so did you choose any belief now? Are you like believing in something? Wait, wait. No, we're Christians now. Oh, wonderful. Um, that's wonderful. Good my boys, they were 10 and 14 when they found the Lord. Uh, they okay. were the first ones to Christ in our family. And uh, yeah, they have an amazing testimony. You know, and, you, uh, know, you know, my yeah. friend, maybe, maybe uh, sometime we can uh, have you as a guest uh, so you can explain to us what the Sikh they believe in because you used to be a Sikh, right? Yes, yeah, Sikhs, they, they believe in the concept of one God. Um, but to get to heaven, you have to find yourself a guru. And uh, yeah, well, there are no gurus around, so uh, there is no real path to heaven as such um, in Sikhism. Um, not that I was ever a very devoted Sikh anyway, but when my boys became Christians, uh, my son was 14 when he, when he found the Lord. Uh, he used to watch videos, and uh, he saw um, a Christian link where told you how Satan controls you through music and so on. And uh, he got really scared. He thought he was going to go to hell. Um, he came home. And uh, so this was like a period of about a week. And uh, he came home and he prayed. He, the videos showed you the sinner's prayer at the end of it. Mm -hmm. He said the sinner's prayer and uh, he felt the Holy Spirit and all his fear had gone. And uh, he went through a phase of about three months where he would pray to our sea gods. And he said, whenever you pray to sea gods, it was like just talking to yourself. But whenever you pray to the Father and uh, in the name of Jesus, he physically felt the Holy Spirit, and uh, he kept it. He kept it secret for about a year, didn't tell anybody. And then, but then, you know, when you find Christ, you want to share with everybody. So he shared with his younger brother. Well, he said to his younger brother, "Can I, can I pray for you?" And uh, his, his younger brother said, "Okay." He was ten at the time, the younger brother, and uh, he said, "Father," he said, "If I tell my." If I tell my brother I've become a Christian, he's going to grasp me up and tell my parents get me into trouble. Will you show him something that will convince him that you're real? 
And he said, Father, show him heaven. And uh, a couple of minutes later, he said, Rohila, are you awake? And Ro said, Bro, don't touch me, I'm in heaven. And uh, he describes how he saw heaven, he saw the golden steps, went to the top, saw the gates of heaven. He met Jesus Christ, and uh, Jesus Christ took him by the hand, showed him around heaven. And he says, when you talk to Jesus Christ, you don't, you don't talk with your mouth, it's just all telepathic. You know what he's saying, and vice versa. And uh, he saw the will of souls, and uh, his brother was just blown by it. Two days later, he prayed for him again, and he saw heaven a second time. He saw a lot more this time. He describes it as the castle of God. He saw, he saw it in a third-person view, in walking into the castle. And he said, when you see the Father, you can only see, like, waist down. The top of it is just, uh, just light. You cannot see uh, the Father like that. He says he saw the well of souls, he saw angels. And uh, then about a week later, they came down and they said, Oh, we've got something to share with you. We've become Christians. And I thought, wow, how did that come about? So they told me the testimony. And uh, to cut a long story short, I started looking into Christianity myself. And uh, I knew quite a bit about the Roman Empire and about Jesus, but I didn't know why Jesus Christ died on the cross. I didn't understand that concept. And I started looking more into it. And uh, just before that, before they had told me about that, I was looking into Satanism and, you know, why they believe in Satan so much. So I knew that these people believe in Satan. There must be a God as well. And uh, it's like the Lord was working on me all this time. And, uh, you know, to cut a long story short, I started reading the Bible. I started praying to the Father. And uh, I found it very hard because in Sikhism, we don't have that concept. We just have God. So I knew there was a God. So I just used to pray to the Father only. And uh, one day I just said, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, you know, I believe you died on the cross for me. And, uh, you know, if you, are, if you are God or if I need you to connect with God, you know, come into my life as well and show me. And uh, I just woke up the next day and I said, it's like fire inside of me. I just had to go to church. You know, there's something telling me you have to start going to church. And uh, I told my wife and she was like, no, nah, you're not going to go to church. You don't get up before 12 o'clock. So we left it that week. And uh, we went the, the following week, and uh, yeah, we've been we've all been baptized now, the whole family, and uh, we're strong believers in uh, Jesus Christ. And bless the Lord, He's given us all you know different gifts. My wife, she has some amazing dreams that uh, she sees things before they've even happened. And uh, my eldest son, who's now twenty now, he's the one that brought us forward into Christ. He, he's probably the most devoted. Um, he's felt like the anointing of the holy oil. Um, when he first started, when he, after he told his brother, he went through a lot of spiritual attacks because you try to get to, closer to God, the living God. Satan does try to pull you back kind of thing. And uh, yeah, like I said, now we're all believers, we're all devout believers, you know, we praise him, we worship him every day. And uh, yeah, it's just been one fantastic journey and the life has just changed around so much. You know, um, you can see the living God at work in our lives, you know. And, uh, yeah, I just can't thank the Lord enough for uh, pulling us out of darkness and uh, shining His beautiful light on us, you know. Well, I mean to that, my friend. I'm so happy for you and for your family. And thank you very much for sharing with us your experience. And this is a, a very interesting story because uh, I don't remember really I spoke to anyone before he was a Sikh from the Sikh uh, belief. Uh, so okay. this is very interesting and you, you know I will be happy to hear from you and uh, Maybe in the future you can help more to understand what the Sikh believe and maybe we can invite you know, through you uh, Some of sure. the Sikh who they can listen and uh, if they have a questions about Christianity we will be happy to answer them Sure, I mean, we live in the UK and uh, There's a lot of Sikhs that are converting to Christianity. You know the the Holy Spirit is really moving through the Sikh community as well we know a lot of Sikhs that have converted to Christianity, and they all have amazing testimonies. You know, we know we know the spirit is moving in the Middle East because you can see thousands and thousands of testimonies on uh, YouTube where Jesus Christ Himself has actually visited Muslims. Um, but yeah, in the UK, we find that uh, a lot of Sikhs are starting to convert as well. The churches are in South, or where most of the Sikhs are, the churches are just full of Sikhs and Hindus. And uh, yeah, the Lord is just mightily at work. He really is mightily at work. I mean, I mean, my friend. Thank you very much for calling me, and feel free to call me anytime you wish. I will do. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Take care. Get the best. Cheers. Bye bye. 
and they say say uh, say I will agree to your son. You know, look like sound is like a lovely person to listen to too. Take care. Um, beautiful story. You know, the Lord always he don't leave himself without witnesses. He do not need a prophet who uh, hear the sound of a bell. And the stones talk to him, say to him, Assalamu alaikum. And he imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he never did. I mean, how in the world those people they can believe in Muhammad? How you can listen to him? How you can accept him for a second to be a prophet? Human beings sometimes prove to himself, like, proved it to us every day that he is silly, stupid. Do you really believe that God is going to give you a lot of naked women in heaven? For what? For believing in him? That's stupid. That's pure stupidity. God is the God of holiness, not the God of uh, sex and porn. And you know what? Let us say God wanna uh, you know wanna have you make you happy as a human being the way you are, you know, with the sexual desire. Okay, what about giving me a woman? She loved me and I love her and that's it. Is it possible that I can be happy with one woman? Yes, it's possible. You know, what, what women cannot do, if a woman cannot make me happy, then all the women in the world, they cannot make me happy because all of them they are the same. What is missing is love. Correct, guys? What is missing, if there is something missing, then it is going to be love. Otherwise, if you give me 80,000 women, all of them, they have the same face, what make it even more stupid, all of them, they have the same look, the same eyes, the same name. They sing the same song. It's like a toy. Like, like a toy. So you have 80,000 toys. You squeeze them. They sing for you. We love you. Happy birthday for you. Happy birthday, Abdul. We all love you. He squeezed the second one. Happy birthday for you. Happy birthday, Abdul. Happy birthday, we all. We all love you. He squeezed the third one. 80,000 women, they are the same. What the point? They sing the same song. They have the same face. They have the same name. They have the same... They have a 22 teeth, by the way, not 20. So tw what, what the point? This is lost. This is not about be happy. This is about sex. This is about an obsession, addiction to drugs. This is drugs. This is not love. This is lost of drugs. And it's stupid in the same time. At least make them look different. So I will feel like, okay, I'm sleeping with different women. All of them, they look the same, have the same voice, the same name, and they are exactly copy-paste, like bacteria. So what the point? Where, where is the, you know, uh, uh, if, if God wants me to be happy with the women, he will bring me a woman, she loved me, and I love her. That's it. Isn't it beautiful to have someone, she loves you, and you are decent to her, and she is decent to, with you? That's beautiful. Where is love? I mean, the promise about sex in heaven, it's not include love, it's include just having sex. The most important thing for a human being should be love. Because if we do have sex without love, that makes us the same as animals. You are in love, not in lust. You are in love with the person and then you want to have a family with the person. You want to be the Christianity focus and being united, not divided. If one satisfy me, but cannot satisfy me. If I'm going to be with a woman because she is pretty, with more a different one, she is more pretty. If I wish she will, because today I'm happy, she will be in the street, she will be in the grocery store. She will jump and laugh anyone who is more handsome, and there's a lot of them. This why I'm not. Now I know why I'm not married. Yeah. I feel Islam does not teach you decency. Where is decency here? Where is the where is the decent God? Where is decent? 
in where the holiness a lot of sex never the promise that I will take a bunch of to heaven from hell he will deliver them to you because you know why right you know why he is going to take women from hell who are those women who are taken from hell those are the prostitutes who they have a very much skills of sex look what Muhammad he said My voice is cutting. I don't know what's the problem, my friend. I don't know what to do. today. It's uh, horrible. I'm not sure. It's not my internet. I think it's YouTube. Is it better now? Maybe the Muslims trying to attack my IP. I will, I will change my IP. I have an IP changer, you know. Uh, maybe because they are using my Skype, so they are trying to flood my uh, modem. Yeah, I will try to change it. No, you know, for me, uh, I like to be, I like, I like to be married. But you know, it's not easy to find a woman she can uh, handle what I do. Imagine, like, I have a, mar a married now, and her husband is sitting for hours and hours and hours every day. Doing what I'm doing, screaming, shouting, fighting. I mean, that's not easy. That's not easy. She will have a headache, even though she is not the one who's talking. You know? Uh, anyway, maybe the Lord one day he will send me someone she can uh, she can accept that. I'm, I'm going to buy the lotto next week. <laughs> you know, if you have my book, by the way, did you see in the book where it says that in the heaven of Allah, you open a fig and inside the fig you find a woman? Who, who of you have my book, Six and Allah? How many of you have my book, Six and Allah? Imagine you want to, you open a, you open a watermelon, and inside the watermelon, there is a there is a, there is a uh, there is a woman inside. And you know the funny, I I, I bought watermelon. I bought I, I I found no women until now. I mean, why I'm not lucky? Why only those things happen in Islam? Don't forget, please, those who read my books in any language, don't forget to make a review. And don't forget to tell your friends about it and be honest about in the review. If it's good, say it's good. If it's not, say it's not. Thank you, Gio. Thank you. I love you all. Actually, I feel I have a big family and I have, uh, I don't feel really I am alone. Yes, sometimes I feel like I'm fighting alone. Um, uh, but first of all, you know, I choose to do this. Nobody forced me. Um, I love it in the same time to be honest with you because I am a thinker I have a different idea of joy the joy of seeing somebody saying to me thank you Christian Prince because that is going to be sent to my Lord this is not thank you to me this will be in my reference in the front of the Lord that one day somebody will witness and will say the Lord this guy he helped me I'm building up my resume so one day when I meet my Lord my resume will be good people curse me people hate me people want to kill me people they make a threat for me it doesn't change anything that all of this is good for the name of the good God if I show you my Facebook now, you will not believe it how many messages I receive every day from people saying from around the world. It's like, you know, international. I mean, it's amazing. From Gambia, from Africa, from Indonesia, from Pakistan, from, I mean, you, you name it. And sadly, I can't answer everybody, you know.
and this is why you know for us we should remember that don't ever think that because you are just one person you cannot change the world you can change the world you can share the truth if every one of us says i am just a person who do not know much what i can do then who is going to fix you know imagine we have a street and in the street there is garbage and nobody want to clean the garbage everybody says i mean it's too much garbage with too much garbage, if you start picking it up and everybody say, okay, I will pick it up with you, then we will find that street will going to be clean soon. Right? Uh, just a warning for people in the chat. Here in my chat here, I don't accept anyone to say to me, we Catholic, we Protestant, we Orthodox, we pray for you. My friend, I don't care if you are a Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. Unless you are being a devilish person trying to divide the people. We are Christians who believe in Jesus. I don't care for what church you go to. I care for what you believe. You are a Catholic, you are a Protestant, you are Orthodox. This is your business. The Messiah will be happy if you follow him. Not to follow a name, have nothing to do with him. All those names have nothing to do with Jesus. What I meant that we are followers of Jesus regardless of the church name we go to. It's just a name, mean nothing really. What is important is what is inside the belief, not inside the building. You can be, you can go to a church, it's called the church of, you know, uh, uh, love, the church of uh, spring, the church, name it whatever you want. Who cares what you want to name it, you know? What is important is what those people believe in. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Remember this phrase from the Bible, it's very important. Well, name of a church will not save you. It's your faith who will save you. This is what Jesus said. Follow Jesus, my friend. Don't follow a priest. Follow the Messiah. Don't follow a bishop. Don't follow a man. Men are corrupt. Me, myself, I'm a sinner. Why do you want to follow me? I do my best to be as best as I can. But who said, I am not a sinner? Don't put your trust in a name except his name. Anything else is false. Do we have any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? My friend, this is not important, Revelation. You know, with my, you know, with my respect to you, as I said, it's not important really to be to go to say I'm um, Orthodox or not because who cares? I mean, you believe in Jesus, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You believe in His crucifixion. You believe in His resurrection. You believe in His coming back. You believe that there's no salvation but by Him and for by Him, for Him, everything was created. He's the Alpha, He's the Omega. He is the truth. He is the light of the world. So, who cares what the church you go to? Here we go. We have a brother there. His name uh, acts. He is saying, I am an ex Abdul. Good for you. Happy for you, my friend. You see, you can be a person who can call himself a Christian if you do something as a Christian. If you don't do that, you are no Christian. Christians is the one who do what the Christians do. Jesus, he said, if you are of, of Abraham, you do what your father Abraham do. Is that correct? If you are of Abraham, you claim that you are from Abraham, do what Abraham do then. So you don't claim that you belong to Jesus when you don't do what Jesus do. Do you help somebody? He's a neighbor. He's, he's old. Hello? Hello. Hey, my friend. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, brother. How are you? Looks like today well, our today, internet is really horrible. Today the internet is um, a little bit down. Um, maybe it's YouTube, but um, I would really thank God for you. And, uh, we're praying for you. I just wanted to encourage you. You know. Uh, 
there are millions of people that are praying with you and trusting God for the work. It is the Lord, as you said, it, it is the Lord's work and he will fulfill the desires of your heart too. Even in regard to issues you have not mentioned, uh, my prayer is that the Lord will meet you at that very point of need. Sometimes he understands our needs more than we do. That's that's my prayer for you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Your voice is again is cutting off, so it looks like today we have a problem. Well, thank you very much, uh, my friend, for the call. And yeah, uh, yeah. we pray all of us to each other. May the Lord bless everybody. And uh, the most Amen. important thing is that no matter what you do, still you have to feel humble and you have to feel that you did nothing yet. And honest to God, when I do not do broadcast, which means to refute Islam, I feel guilty. I feel really, mm. I feel truly, truly guilty. After all the thousands and thousands and thousands of videos, God knows how many I did, how many years I spent in my life, still I feel guilty if I don't do it. Yeah, um, CP, I, I just wanted to encourage you for one thing that um, I've been since since I came to know the Lord, um, I've been working with the church among Muslims, um, and, and and I had the same trouble um, in asking the Lord, you know, in terms of life, will I ever settle down? Um, but this past year. It is, I mean, this April, um, I just got uh, wedded. Um, and I saw, I know uh, in the Lord's own timing, wow, things will happen. So hang in, hang in there. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. Um, the Lord knows. And by the way, CP, about the, about the, the women, that will come from hell for Allah for Muslims. Isn't that very funny? I mean, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, we will we will try to answer that. And I have somebody. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, that, that is a it is Greece actually to insult to women, insult to God too, because uh, you know, uh, God don't judge you by gender. God judge you by your act, and have nothing to do with gender. And there's. There's people who they are good and bad from both gender and being good or bad nothing to do with gender actually women they can be a lot more merciful less more harmful and violent from men uh, so why they will be in hell i mean it doesn't make sense uh, that's all uh, is, is, is uh, doesn't make sense uh, uh, i'm going to ask somebody in text asking about the trinity so thank you my friend for calling yeah really god bless you god bless you and have a good, a good evening take care my friend all right uh, uh, one of you said to me here, Infused Gaming, CP, please explain what is the Trinity since many Christians seem confused. You still have, uh, uh, haven't have answered me with regard to debating in person yesterday. You put me time out for asking what do you fear. My, my friend, first of all, I don't debate in person for a very simple reason. I just went, just last week, I went to Texas. I spent almost a $1,000 to go there. I'm not a rich man. Same time, why I want to do it in person? What, the, what, the, what is the purpose of that? If you cannot do it here, hey, here is better than a person. Here I'm showing you in the screen. We see the reference together. People, they gather around us and they can hear us perfectly. It's perfect. What in person mean? What, what do you mean in person? Why you want to do it in person? What does that mean? If you have a question, call me. Uh, if you cannot do it in the internet, it's mean you cannot do it Is that Austin, Mr. Fusion? Infusion, are you a Muslim? Infused, demon, are you a Muslim? I'm asking you. <clears throat> you go to or no? It's better you in person for me. It's this, you like it. You're the one who's coming. Conditions. I always hear. I'm borrowed from here. To me, God knows who's talking from Africa. The internet giving me up to be in a house. This is important. You and me in the coffee shop. 
or maybe it's better to speak hundreds of people speaking to person. Same time, all the voices in back in because I'm going to uh, disturb. I will see if I can. Now, am I heard now? Maybe, maybe. Is it better now? All right. So, Mr. Uh, infused, infused Game, are you a Muslim or not? Are you a Muslim or not? You have been refuted many times in Pal Talk. Ha ha ha. Oh, you have to refute me. I never saw somebody refute. Guys, anybody saw me re being refuted? Show me. Have you ever seen a Muslim refuting me? Prove it. What you do? Why you don't call me and do it again? <laughs> as long as you can do it, you can do it. It's mean you can do it. So do it now. Here we go. I'm live. Who is the coward? Obviously, you are a coward. You are scared. You are scared that if you call me, you will be humiliated. Otherwise, if you can do it once, you can do it again. Correct, guys? People here, they are desperately looking for somebody can refute me. Why you don't do it? Okay, I will explain to you the Trinity. Here we go. And I want you to laugh with me at the Trinity in the same time. I challenge you to laugh. Let us explain the Trinity for this Abdul. What do you do? You always will use the Quran. Allah always when he talk in the Quran, he say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Allah Himself introduced Himself as, as God by three names. The multiple names of Allah is 99, which is multiply of the three, extra 33. So Islam is based on number three all over. The Quran ordered the Muslims to pray three times. Obviously, you are a kid. Here we go. They told me you're a person, no more than me. So, what does this have to do with me? There is, he is a great man. I'm happy for him to be no more than me. You are stupid, hey, kid. You are just a stupid donkey like your prophet. You think you're insulting me by saying someone is no more than me? So what? <laughs> what does this have to do with <laughs> He's more known than me. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> what this guy have to do with our topic? You are asking me, you idiot, to speak about the Trinity, and now you are talking about Robinson. This is why those people they are they have they are ups, they have a they have a demon in their head. He's trying to make you upset. You see the this, you see the strategy of the devil, how stupid he is. He's like a silly monkey jumping from place to place, trying to make you upset. You are done, you are not famous like Robinson. Tony Robinson is more famous than you. He's <laughs> more famous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my friend mr robinson i really appreciate this man uh you don't debate muslims he's like he's 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 he's, he's, uh, he's taking an act to protect his country for me i'm here i am here to defend the muslims and to bring them to the truth now let me show you abdul how you muslims should believe in the trinity because your stupid god in the quran he confirmed it Chapter 4, verse 171, and I told all the Christians how to show the Muslims from the Quran that the Quran confirming the Trinity do not deny. The same verse which denied the Trinity is the same verse confirm the Trinity. This is how stupid the author of the Quran is. How you say to them there's no Trinity in the same verse, yet in the same verse you confirm that the three is in one and one is in three. Read with me carefully, Abdul, and laugh at your God. Your God, he said, who is your God supposed to Allah? He said, Speaking about Isa, who is the Isa? Supposed to Jesus. The Muslim they translate in Jesus, but the fact the Quran never says Jesus, he says Isa. So Isa, the Christ, as you see here, is what? He is a messenger. Okay, that is the man. In the same time, he is the word. 
the word of who? The word of God. In the same time, he is a spirit proceeding from him, from whom who? Him who? God. So Jesus the Messiah is the word, is a man, is the word of God, is the man, is the spirit. One by the three. So how you stupid, you say, I cannot understand the Trinity when your God himself explained it to you. Hmm? Are you going to make fun of your God? Are you going to say, Allah, you are being stupid? What does this have to do with this, with this, with this? How Jesus can be three, but yet he is one. How he is the word, he is the man, and he is the spirit. And to make it more funny, your stupid God, he say in the same verse, say no trinity. Do you see it? Say no trinity, but you just gave us a trinity? Is it this what the Christians believe? That the world became a man and the man is at the same time the spirit of God? Jesus, he said, I will go and I will send you the comforter. I will be with you. He is going to be the comforter. He is, he is going to be presented between us, with us as a spirit of God. So you say to me, it is confusing. Well, that means the Quran is confusing. Jesus is three in one. How you can be three and one in the same time? No, I don't read here. Read actually, I don't read any. Uh, you see, I don't. I don't know what uh, you guys read. For me, I focus on things have to do with Islam. I mean, anything else is not really in, 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 you know interesting for me. And always, I use the Muslim uh, uh, false doctrine to prove to them what they don't believe. Because if I, if I spend now as many Christians they do, if I start quoting verses from the Bible, he's not listening. He will come tomorrow. He will ask the same questions. Correct. All right, okay. Uh, Peter, he changed his name and he came back with a different name. The devil, he changed his uniform. Do we have any Abdul? So, is the Trinity now clear? It is explained in your book. Your God confirm it. And speaking about Jesus in person, thank you, God. See, so always we say that God don't leave himself without witnesses. And in the book of the Quran, Body software. Did you ask uh, how how the Quran made such a mistake and confirmed to us that Jesus is God? How Jesus be God? He's a man. He's a war. Be all of those. Why Muhammad, of God, the spirit of the message? Why he's the message of God? And in Muslim can. Why Abraham not the word of God, the spirit of God? Jesus is alive and everybody is dead. Why only Jesus are? I mean, for me, is not unique about Jesus in your... The Muslims say, uh, That uh, uh, you know Adam is the same as Jesus. That's stupid to say. Somebody sent me in Facebook. He said the Quran says that the similarity between Adam and Jesus that Allah, if He want to create them, He say B is going to be. But Allah never created Adam by saying B. That is a contradiction for the Quran, proving that the Quran made by a false man. Okay, guys, because the voice is bad, so today we are going to stop here. Hoping maybe tomorrow. I hope so, that things will be better. All right? Am I heard? Am I heard, guys? As long as we, uh, we have a problem with the sound today, so I'm going to stop with this for now. And don't forget, to please, to download the video I posted down in the info. You will see under the info in the video. Watch comedy and the link for drive please download it to your friends everywhere and expose the dual who they are claiming they have knowledge or a bunch of potatoes they have what they are talking about the lord bless you all and may not forget offending 
but we have to offend the devil. Offend anyone, the devil. The second you you open, the second you open your mouth and you say something truthful, hurt somebody. My friend, and don't worry about hurting the feeling. Be worried about saving the human being who is lost. People they do surgery not because they like to be cut to have a cut in their skin, but like because they like to be saved. People they allow a doctor to cut their chest and work in their heart, risking big risk, hoping that we will be saved and live. If we have to do a surgery, we have to do the surgery. And when we see somebody is sick, we should do be Christians and we should help the sick. <laughs> Look like we have a Muslim calling. Yes, my friend. Hello. Yes, yeah. hello. Yeah, I just wanted to. I was wondering why, like, you hate Muslims, man. My friend, so I, my friend, I love Muslims. Do you? Do you love a Christian? Do you love a Christian? You no, know, Jesus was a Muslim. My Jesus friend, my friend, hold on, hold on. One by one, one by one, one by one. You know, that is not to fight. I love Muslims. Do you love a Christians? Yes. Okay. Are you sure you love them? Because this is against Islam. How you love them as the Christians? The Quran says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. So how you can love me, but the Quran forbid you from taking me as a friend? I'm listening. How you are, how, he, see, he hang up. See how you put them in the spot right away? He lied, he said he loved, Muslim, he loved the Christians. I can show you where Jesus says, love your enemy. Anyone, anyone he think even he's my enemy, I love him. Now show me where it says you can love a Christian, you are a liar. You are practicing chapter 3, verse number 28 in the Quran. You are practicing taqiyya. The Quran in chapter 5, verse number 51 says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. So why you are lying says, I love Christians. Plain that you are the victim and we are the one who hate you when it is the opposite. Why you hang up? It's embarrassing, right? Isn't it? Is that why you hang up? Because you got busted right away? You thought you can handle it for more than 30 seconds? I mean, do I have, I don't know if I can really, maybe I'm, I'm knocking down the Muslim so fast, I should wait a little bit. Why you lie to me? You say you love the Christians. Show me where it says you love the Christians. You cannot even take a friend who is your father. In chapter 9, verse number 23, it says, take not your fathers and your brothers as friends, if they are not Muslims. Even your father, the one who slept with your, with your mother, the one who made you come to earth, the one who made your mother bread it, even that, you cannot be a friend to him. They play victims to bring tears in your eyes. Oh, Christian Prince, you hate Muslims. We don't hate Muslims. We will never hate Muslims. We are fighting the hate of Islam. We are fighting it by the love of Jesus and by the truth. If you are honest, the one who called me, be honest with yourself. Is that what the Quran is saying? Or I am lying that you cannot love me? They try to brand you with hate in order to make people not listen to you. They fabricate lies about you so people will not listen to you. You cannot do that with me. For the Lord is in my side. If the Lord is with me, who could be against you or against me? You want to bring me your devil who, bring, you know, who promised you thousands of females with no panties? Well, let us see what the devil can do. If the devil is really, if your God, Allah, is a true God, call me and give me an answer which can refute me right now. Your God will speak in your tongue if he's a true God. If your God is a true God, he will be able to refute me so easy. But because your God is a potato, he is the devil who have a funny tail. He tried to wear a uniform to make himself look like an angel, but in fact, he is the devil still.
Why you hate them? Why you hate the Muslims, huh? You hate us, we don't hate you. You're a liar. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will try tomorrow to be around 3.30 uh, uh, p.m., sorry, uh, again, in live podcast. And I hope tomorrow our sound will be better and we will do even better and more Muslims will come to Christ. With this, I leave you in peace and I wish you the best time with your family. It's a Friday evening and uh, please take care of your family. Be a decent man with your wife. Be a decent man with your children. Don't cheat. Don't lie and don't be a person who's selfish. Selfishness is one of the disease hit families, hit the society. Be a person who give himself and love himself at the end, not first. They teach you to do yoga, to focus on yourself. That is false. Focus in the love of others. Focus in how you can help others because that is the true love and this is the true happiness. A person who think about himself is the same person who win the world but he lose himself the one who give himself he win the one who think about himself he lose don't be the loser christ is my wisdom and the bible is my book and by him and for him everything was created and i am his servant and i will do my best to serve the lord the god the good god who never commits sin who teach love who said love your enemy with this May the Lord bless you, and I will see you soon again. God bless. Bye-bye.